Hello and a very good afternoon. Welcome back to Crafters TV. Indeed, welcome for the first time if you've just joined us this terrific Tuesday. Uh, my name is Ben Mosby. It's just gone two o'clock here in the UK and we're getting ready for uh, not two hours of fun. No, 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 no. Three hours uh, extravaganza, I suppose, here um, at Crafters TV. In a couple of hours' time, Gordon is going to be back from Be Creative. Uh, he's here once again with a whole host of goodies. Uh, what I will say to you is, is if you're after any of those goodies or indeed anything on the shows today head to our website and hit the shop the day button you'll see everything that we've got coming up right throughout the day including all of the goodies uh, on launch party as well but for the first two hours of this three hour extravaganza it's all about the craft along our award winning craft along where you get the opportunity to craft along with us in real time so if you've seen all of the details that have been up on our social media channels and you're ready to go that's amazing if you haven't yet seen them but you're thinking oh I quite fancy a craft along the great thing is this show will stay on our Facebook page, on our YouTube page after we've done it, so you can come back and do it at a later date. Indeed, if you haven't got the goodies that we've got on this show, you can buy them during the show, and then once you've got them home, uh, you can then do this craft along as well. As I said, it's done in real time. None of the, here's something I made earlier, uh, so you can craft along, you can ask questions, you can get us to slow down, you can get us to speed up. Uh, it is all up to you over the course of the next couple of hours. Uh, we're going to be concentrating on our um, shaped shaker card dies which you guys I know absolutely love but who's going to be leading the craft along and what are we going to be making I hear you cry well uh, the lady that is leading the craft along one of my absolute faves it is the lovely Corin how are you I'm really good thank you really really good so last day here today oh, for this yeah. week and back next week yeah yes yeah we were just saying back next week and we're doing another craft along next week we are so what I'll do that one and you're going to do that one yes. yes okay i'll bring the stuff right today we're going to be using this one this gorgeous born to bloom now i thought this was a really really good one to do as our craft along because this one is uh, has only been available through the uk yes so, yes you couldn't buy this when when we were showed these on hsn and other places like that so yes you have to buy it via us here so we're going to use the uh, born to bloom shaker card shall i show you what we're going to make we're going oh, yeah. to make this lovely little card Aww. with look with a little butterfly oh let me come down a bit there you go with a oh it's got a little butterfly. butterfly on the top yeah isn't that lovely cute i love that with all the bright colored papers looks so so pretty so yep yeah, that's what we're going to do and let's see how long that takes us <laughs> how long will it take i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully longer than half an hour. I think it takes a bit more than half okay, an hour. Okay, good stuff. Um, well, the first thing you need to know, though, is what you will need if you want to take part in the craft along. So what are we going to need? Right, you're going to need, obviously, you're going to need your um, shaped shaker card die. So as we said, we're going to use the Born to Bloom. We're going to also use that Sparkle and Shake sequin die. We were looking at those this morning. And that little butterfly comes from the Magnificent Butterflies Outline die. Oh, yeah. You're going to need your multi-purpose card and some of the A5 <coughs> he heavyweight acetate. And then the paper pads that we're going to use to get those are your um, 8x8 pick and mix in the paper and in the card. Now, if you haven't got those, you can swap them around for anything that you have got. Okay. You've got your silver mirror card. We're going to do a little bit of stamping, so we're going to use our alcohol-proof ink pad because, as you can see, the next ones, we're going to use our tri-blend pens, our deep blends. But again, you can pick any colours that work for you. And you're going to need your premium marker paper pad. Premium marker paper pad or your um, Nina card, yep. either one works just as well so once you've got all those together you just need your extra little bits so you've got your sequ your iridescent sequins now if you haven't got any iridescent sequins you could cut some out of the bit of acetate that's left over and it's going to make you some more we're going to use our gemini well it says gemini junior i've got my main one on my script on my table but i'm going to um just use uh the junior plates Got you, but sideways. So you might want to use your Gemini Mini just to do the smaller bits. Um, foam on a roll, your all-purpose glue, your fine tip glue applicator with tacky glue, red liner tape, pokey tool, scoring board, guillotine. I'm actually going... Um, Rocker block or stamping platform, I'm probably going to use my stamping platform. You, we've been talking about that all weekend that I tend to go for the stamping platform, even if I'm doing something quite small. Excellent okay. stuff. So there you go. We will um, we'll give you opportunity to pick all of those bits and pieces up. <coughs> Excuse me. 
As always, uh, you can get live and interactive with us. Georgiana is with us uh, saying, Hi, Ben and Corinne from Clearwater, Florida. Also to the CTV family and crafty friends. We've got uh, Jamie and George steering the good ship craft this afternoon. They went, oh, hey. Was that you? Was that Jamie? Oh, Jamie went, oh, hey, because George normally gives you a little... <laughs> um, <laughs> Suzette Sue says, good morning, Lord Ben. Uh, Corinne, the Suit TV team and crafty friends from a lovely Prince Edward Island. Uh, Lynn Harvey says, hi, Ben. Corinne, the Suit TV team, the social superstar, which is Caitlin um, and everyone. And Mary Pat says, good morning, everyone from Montana. Keep those alos coming through. Um, I must just get you up to speed with everything which is going on whilst you get ready for uh, the craft along. Our uh, Memorial Day sale continues um, up to 75% off selected items. Um, it ends though wherever you are at midnight tonight. Um, the deals are phenomenal. Just to kind of highlight, I've got one of the deals right here. So you know the balloon sentiment stamp and die sets. Uh, well, those, I think, £20, I think we said those are going for. It's a 75% saving there. Um, just over $25 as well. Um, so that is just one of the deals that we've got for you on the website. But shop it today. If you haven't yet had a little sneaky peek at that, uh, you are going to see even more um, amazing deals just like that on our website. But they will disappear as of midnight tonight. Something which uh, begins tomorrow is our uh, Jubilee extravaganza. Five days we're celebrating the Platinum Jubilee. There's going to be loads of exclusive um, goodies and uh, discounts and double points and all that kind of stuff going on for our Club Inspire members. More about that to come from tomorrow. However, if you're not yet a Club Inspire member, now is the ideal time to do it because if you sign up today, not only will you get all of the um, deals and uh, benefits that everyone's going to receive over uh, the five day extravaganza, but also if you sign up, uh, you'll get a five pound, five dollar or five euro credit to your account. So it's a great thing to do. Uh, maybe you've been thinking about doing it, do it today. Maybe you know somebody who's been thinking about doing it, tell them to do it uh, and get signed up and receive that little extra benefit. Also something which you need to know about, so much information, is the Best of Craft Awards 2022. Your opportunity right now to get nominating uh, all of your favourites and there's loads of different categories. Um, it literally takes you five or six minutes to do uh, and you go through. So you can vote uh, Best Female, uh, Best Male Personality of the Year. Uh, you can get voting on the Ultimate Gadget. Um, we'd love you to vote for the uh, the Gemini. Uh, best Brand for Crafts, obviously. obviously Obviously, you know you want to uh, nominate. You can get nominating your uh, favourite workshop or online class. That's this one, the Craft Along. We'd love you to nominate uh, Craft Along again for that because it won last year. Uh, what about the uh, Craft Chain Store, Most Loved UK Chain Stores? Obviously, Crafters Companion, come on, you know, you know what you need to do. What about Designer of the Year? Uh, a couple of friendly faces there you might think about writing down. Uh, and of course, who are you going to be nominating for your most loved Crafts TV shopping channel? Yes, of course you are. Of course you are. Um, we would thank you so much if you can get um, nominating. That's the um, web address there. Um, if you want to get involved, um, you can easily stick it into your um, your search engine as well. One thing, I, and I'll ask this question because I don't definitively know the answer. A lot of our US viewers have been asking about whether they can do it. And I've heard on my page various answers. Some, some people who said they weren't able to do it and couldn't get in on the vote but then we've had some people I know who've, who've managed to vote so um, I don't know is the uh, honest answer to that but um, if you are a US viewer who's managed to get uh, nominating tell everyone else how you did it because I know that some people have uh, but get nominating now and we would love you forever thank you uh, we are moments away from starting the craft along but it is uh, not just me and it is not just Corin who's going to be here with you over the course of the uh, next couple of hours uh, we head across the border to uh, Scotland and say hello to um, one of our faves, the lovely Lorna. Jane joins us. How are you? Hi, good. <laughs> you said uh, up have seen me now. Uh, yeah, lovely to see you. And um, you, uh, did you, I, I have to try and remember, you live just down the road from Craig, don't you? Not that far from Craig. Not just down the road. I used to live in Glasgow, which was closer, but I'm a little further now. Oh, uh, OK. And uh, how's the weather there today? Is it, is it nice? Is it raining? It was horrible earlier, but just before you come on, it got nice and sunny. It must be because you, we are used to having holiday weather when you're on. Oh, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> exactly right, exactly right. Uh, we're delighted to have you back for another craft along. Are you um, <laughs> normally a big fan of making shakers? Um, yeah, I have made a few, but this is the first time I've used... I'm, I've actually went rogue, I've got a different die set, but I'm going to follow on as close as possible. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. 
Excellent stuff. And we always say you can follow it kind of letter for letter or like you've done, you can change uh, mm. certain aspects of it as well. Uh, but have you got all your bits and pieces? Uh, yeah, ready to go? Well, <laughs> All right. Well, we will uh, look forward to see uh, what you make over the course of the next couple of hours or so. And we'll be checking back in with you as well, Lorna Jane. Lovely to have you with us. Um, okay. We've also, of course, got the opportunity for you to grab this deal if you haven't yet picked it up. Uh, because, of course, you can come back and watch this craft along at a later date once you've got your goodies, perhaps. Um, this is the Shape Shaker card die collection, 66 elements in total. Um, if you want to go for it as a little bit of a uh, dip your toe in the water, uh, then you can. You can go individually or get two for £27 or two for 30 Hello. Two for thirty-five dollars. My boards are falling apart. Um, and basically, what you're going to get is all of the dies. I'll hold that there. Nobody will notice. Don't you dare do a close-up. George, I said don't do a close-up. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, you can uh, get all. You can get all of these uh, to be able to create the cards. Um, and, and as we said, obviously these are going to be brilliant for creating the shakers, like in this instance here, um, that really cool uh, little jar, you pop your straw in there, create a little uh, shaker drink. But, you know, you don't have to use these as shakers all the time. You know, you can use these just as elements for, um, you know, creating uh, layers for your cards. You can just stamp out the images as well if you wish. You've got a really cool though, little um, uh, perfume bottle there, the Eau de Parfum. Then you've got the beautiful uh, butterfly. If you missed uh, Corinne's demo on this earlier on, this was the one she demoed on uh, Wake Up Call just a few hours ago. That one is Hello Beautiful. And again, you've got the opportunity here to create different uh, sequin chambers as uh, Corinne did earlier. Uh, different sentiments in there as well, which you can stamp into your little banner, which is super cute. You also get the smaller dice here to be able to create the different shaker elements in all of your cards and then lastly uh, the one that we are going to be uh, using uh, which is the uh, UK exclusive Born to Bloom um, again lots of separate chambers there so you could really make a beautiful uh, multi-coloured shaker card there uh, with that little banner with lots of sentiments beautiful collection two for 27 pounds or 35 dollars less your platinum uh, platinum price for the full collection though is 35 pounds 96 or 47 dollars 88 uh, hello to bubble and squeak um who said i would have nominated you all if there were enough spaces oh well what you could do potentially is you could go in do like one email address then go back in with your husband's email address your daughter's email address. Daughter's email address. Your mum's. Yeah, your mum's. The cleaner down the, the road. The cleaner down the road. You know, yeah. your great aunt Doris. Milkman's. In, who's? The Milkman's. Milkman's, yeah. You know, post deep is in. Yeah, there's ways, ways and means, isn't there? Ways and means. Um, I think we're all ready to go on the uh, <laughs> before I get accused of rigging the vote. Uh, uh, Jamie and George, are you ready? All ready, all ready. Uh, Corinne, are you ready? I think so, yes. Lorna Jenny's ready. Are you ready at home? You are, good news. Okay, if at any point over the course of the next hour, hour and a half, two hours, however long as it takes, you get stuck, you need anything repeating, uh, give me a little holler and we will stop, repeat, uh, rewind as is necessary. But let's get going. Uh, Corin, it is over to you. Thank you, thank you. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the base of our card. Right, now I have got my card here and I thought I'll leave it here and then whenever we're on this shot, you can see it. So if ever you think, oh, I'm not sure where we're at, You've got the card just there. Okay. So I've got a piece of card, regular uh, multi-purpose card, folded in half, just like we did this morning, and we're now going to make our card base. And as you can see, this is an easel card rather than a tentpole card, but the beginnings are the same. So take your die, put it onto your cardstock, but have part of the die over the top. Now I'm trying to do it so that it's level on the bottom. It's going to make it so much easier. Don't go on sort of on the wonk. You want to go it as straight as you can by eye but as straight as you can. Now make sure, don't come right up here because that's going to be really thin. I come sort of halfway up that petal and then I've got quite a nice amount over there to be my, my score line. Yeah. Put it on my place and as we said, I'm using my full Gemini, but you could be using, but I'm using my um, junior plates. So, because just that's what was out. That was what was out. So I was being totally lazy. So we're going <laughs> to cut this. We're going to actually cut this quite a few times. So I thought, let's try... If I forget one, but I'll try and remember how many times we need to cut that. So the first time we've cut that, that is going to create our, let's peel that off, our tent fold card. Perfect. So we've got that just there. Okay, yeah. so you can see I've got a little tent fold card just there. Okay, so put that to one side, take this die back off, and then I'm going to cut it from regular white card next. 
I'm just going to trim down my card because as I often say I don't put through any more card than I really really need to do because I want to make sure um, the card stays in good condition so pop that through then we're going to grab our patterned papers so I've got my patterned papers here and I've also got my acetate I just want to check I'm not sure whether the film's been taken off this one I always have to have a quick check Can't yeah you can never it's definitely not on that side is it on if it's going to be on ah yes it's still on there right so I know it's still on that's perfect as long as I know so we're going to actually now cut from all four of these so you can see what we've got so far is we've got base and this will work whichever one of these shapes you're doing so we've got our our tent fold card uh -huh. and our full card yeah so let's just work through these I'm going to just pick the pink out for a minute because we need to do a little bit more but let's just work through these any order your pattern papers so get one of your pattern papers because you might have chosen to do different pattern papers but this is going to be really lovely bright colors so let's cut that one and actually this die would cut through both these layers at once if you wanted to if you wanted to put two two layers of pattern paper through then go for it so the next we're going to cut through on our next pattern paper I'm going to do I'm not going to be that I'm going to see if I can find a space where I'm going to get lots of different colors within there if, if that makes sense I want to get as many I, I could come right up here but actually I'm going to I know it's not as efficient but I'm going to bring it down here oh, so I get you a, get a bit of the red the I, yellow yeah can you see I'm getting lots of colors yeah. there so that's just but if you want to be if you want to be um a bit more frugal with your paper then go up in a corner yeah so it's entirely up to you there we go so we can put that one on there's my plates and again i'm just every time i'm doing this i'm just trying to make sure that i've got the die let me turn it around so i can actually see nice and straight where i want it to be so aren't they pretty but look how beautifully the colours work mm. together works so well doesn't it let's go that way round on the plates so we can cut that so we're just building up our stash of things that we've cut out so we've got one two three just there let's move out of the way what we've finished with try and have some semblance of organization there we go so we've got the next one let's build it up so, oh, turn that one over and then we've got our next one so you can see we're just oh, yeah. building up at the mm -hmm. moment and the next one i'm going to cut is the acetate I couldn't see it <laughs> really couldn't see it so i'm going to pop it on my acetate and again i'm just going to trim this down did you take the backing off it i haven't i've left it on oh. but it'll cut through won't oh, be okay. a problem it won't be a problem at all so this is the fifth time we've cut through with just that one die right yeah but that's fine we're going to cut it one more time but we're going to cut the apertures in next but this time this is the fifth one just with that now actually i need to put my metal shim in there let's bear with me one minute oh i can find one there let me just cut that one more time with my metal shim wonder if that would have I'm going to actually like you suggest I'm going to take that backing off and see if that's made any difference because it's not gone quite through and it should go through there should be was no there a reason that you cut it with the backing on no oh. I hadn't got around to taking it oh. simple as I hadn't got around to taking it off yeah so let's just cut that one more time it's an electronic die cutting machine I'd yeah. rather you see that sometimes we have to put things through twice mm -hmm. than you sit at home and think every time Corin puts it through it cuts first time well no ah now oh now that sounds more productive it does doesn't it yeah that's the metal shim Ooh. when we put the metal shim in we don't take any of our plates out yeah we keep all of our plates in i think that's going to have gone through yes yeah. look easy peasy there we go can you see? hopefully you can see that <laughs> on there right so those are my five um full flowers and now we need our partial oh so next we're going to cut the one with the apertures in so let's put start just as we did before and put this one on our mat i'm going to cut down because obviously this is bigger than my a5 plate yeah there we go so i'm going to take that let me lift that up a bit so you can see 
and I'm going to move those over to the side. So we've got that just there. Now I'm going to bring in my dies. Okay. And you can see, you don't have to do this, move it, because they could have just given you one of those yeah. and you put it on and put it on. What we've got to do now is we need to, actually, let's do this an easier way. Let's do this an easier way. So let's build up our plates, put our magnetic shim on and do it this way. Right, so we've got our magnetic, see if a nice flat magnetic would be good. Is it going to, just trying to, because it's not there, that's ho hopefully going to hold. Let's see if this works. Then we can pop, ah, I can feel that grabbing. That's going to be better. Oh, I see. So I'm using the magnet to hold them where I want them to go. Just drop them on for a minute. Oops. That one die though, like you say, multiple passes for your different papers, and it's going to create the shaker element. Yep. So they say like one pot cooking, this is like one, one die crafting, isn't it? It certainly is. Right, now, if, thinking about that, I've, not, I've come up a little bit too high, so I want to bring this round to create a circle. And you see, I'm just going to bring... Oops, I've just nudged that now. Bringing that... Can you see, that's suddenly become much more circular. And also, the other thing I'm thinking about is I'm going to need somewhere to put my foam tape. So I'm just bringing that round now. There we go. Come on, move over a little bit. Just take a minute. This is a lovely, easy card to make, so don't rush it. But just make sure. Does that look? That looks fairly even, doesn't it? It looks pretty good from where I'm standing. And we know that they're all in position. Yep. And then we can lay our cardstock over the top. And my, let's put my plates underneath. So I'll just bring that in. And also my next plate on the top. A couple there. of questions whilst you're whacking that through. Yeah. Can you it. emboss acetate? Yes. Yeah. Um, and Bubble and Squeak says, I bought those confetti dies to show those. Um, could you cut the dies out of al aluminium foil? <gasps> yes. Aluminium foil. Aluminium foil, yes. Aluminium. It's, well, I suppose that's the American way, isn't it? I like to cover off uh, everything. Especially Look at when that. Just want to just quickly show you that. Isn't that Gorgeous. Craft metal, they will cut out a craft metal absolutely brilliantly. They yeah. look really, really effective. Isn't that pretty? Doesn't that look? So, oh, I've missed a die in the middle. That was my fault. Yep, yeah, I want to. Um, oh, yes, because there's a little circle bit, isn't there? Yep, yeah, that's yeah. not a problem. All I need to do is go back in and put that on. Sorry about that. Hopefully, you've got time to put yours in. I just missed that one off. But actually, you could have left that off if you wanted to, but we're going to do some colouring, so let's make sure it's on. Just going to move these back onto my um, sheet, because if I don't, I'll lose them. And just to say as well, a few people asking about this particular die, the Born to Bloom. It's a UK exclusive, um, this particular die. So if you haven't yet picked it up, then today's a good day to be able to do it. You can go individually on these. Yeah, right, um, so I'm just popping that into the middle. Mm -hmm. Put that on and then we can run it back through. There we go. Not a problem whatsoever. Just, oops, missed that one off. There we go. Right, so now we've got potentially, or we've got the main component parts. So I think when you're making something like this, there's a lot of prep work to do. So once you've got the prep, you know, you've got to get all the prep work done mm -hmm. first. So I think actually we could probably do a little bit of assembly and then we'd have to come to a pause. So okay. let's bring this piece in and then we want our scoreboard and then we want to find, this is going to be the easel element. So we need to score. This is saying, let me just actually do it this way. So this is, I'll do it on the inches side. So this is just shy of four inches in height yeah so i need to score at two inches and I, I measured it on the full one because obviously that doesn't come all the way up that one so i'm going to take what is the front i put it on there so i know it's level and i'm going to score at the two inch point there we go nice and straight there we are does that make sense because i did it it's higher up than halfway on this one because this isn't a full piece. Oh, uh, yes. That was why I measured on there because I wanted it halfway on this piece, but that wasn't a full piece. So I can then fold that over and that's going to give me my easel card 
when we put that one back on there. Can you see? Just like mm -hmm. that. Fab. So let's put that on, stick that on. Now you can do, the, we could do this with our tacky glue if you want to, because we've got plenty of time to let that go a little bit tacky. We can come round the edges and pop that on. Always glue the base. Because if I glued onto here, it would be hard to make sure that I definitely only did it on the right bit because I don't want the top half to stick to there. So I did that in the last craft along with you, didn't glue it in the right place, ended up gluing a bit that was sticking on. And then you, yeah. you had to come and help me out and stick a bit onto the back because I had loads of like um, it's sticky sticky bits on the yeah. bit that I didn't want sticky bits on. It's easy to, we can, we, can, we can always find ways around it, but it's easier if we get it right. So then, and also with using a wet glue, it gives me time to move things around and make sure it's perfect. So press that down. I'm not going to be too rough with it for a minute. And that's going to go like that. So it's got my easel card. Yeah. Now, just so we can start to have a look on the inside, obviously, because we've cut off the top there. If we stick this one down, it's not going to, um, it's not going to fold anymore. So all I tend to do is I pop it on and then I'm going to get my pokey tool. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to score along there. I can feel that fold. Oh, that one. No, I didn't feel that fold very well, did I? There we go, there. I think that's better. There we go. Oh, actually, it's cut through it. I didn't even have to cut. So I'm just going to trim that with there. And that will now fit snugly into there. Yeah. Yep, so let's stick that one on. The great thing is we've got other bits to do. So by doing this... It means that um, the glue's got nice time to dry and to go off cure while we're doing the other bits. Plenty of glue on there. And you, you can probably use your, uh, your tapes as well, couldn't you? If yeah, of course, you use your, your tapes or your collal glue. It's mm. entirely up to you. There we go. But there's no coatings on any of these or anything like this, so your um, tacky glue will work perfectly. There we go. Perfect. So that one's gone on there. Now, on the front, we're going to pop this one. So we're not going to do any... Um, let's go that way up. That's the way I wanted it. So we've got the darker colour on brain down to the bottom. So we can stick that one on the front. So at the moment, this could just be any regular um, tenfold card. Yeah. Well, well it's an, I've put the score in for the easel, but you could have done a tenfold. But any regular tenfold or easel card is going to, going to look right. So plenty of glue just around the edge. You can see with tacky glue, it's better to go over it lots of times with really small amounts of glue because then it cures and goes tacky quicker. Let's put that in. There we go. That goes just there on like that. There we go. And I can press that down. So that's pressing all of my elements down together. And you can see we now have our easel card. And the reason I put the white layer on first is the GSM of this isn't that strong no if i did just cut that flower out and put it on here the top would have been a little bit floppy so it's just made it that little bit stronger for us so right we can put that to one side let's put that to one side and then we can um put this onto here and then we'll have a little pause and make sure everybody's <clears throat> caught up so what we've got here is i'm going to just do this naturally i'm i'm going to put my tape pen to the test and i'm going to Ooh. come around you see i'm still new to all of these is that the dot which one is that the i'm using the solid one, one but you could one. use the dotty one if you wanted i guess so i'm just coming around the edges with my tape pen yeah should have perhaps put it on a piece of card never mind we're getting there so you um, don't use tape pens a lot then you normally wet glue yeah i always i always was because i've never until i joined crafts companion i've never had um a tape pen that's been as strong as this yeah so it, it still takes me some time to remember that we've got it if that makes sense yeah so i got remember. you so right so all i'm going to do now is because we've already taken the backing off is attach that to there and the great thing is you've got an element of repositionableness what's it? repositionability What's it, oh, what is it? goodness me. What is I'd, it? I'd say repositionability is probably more likely than reposit. What did you say? Rep repositionableness? Yeah. Repositionability. I That's might note that one down word, and let play Scrabble. <laughs> I think it's repositionability. Uh, the ability to be able to reposition. Repositionability. 
I can't get this to line up. Uh, oh, it's going to have to go. Is a word? It is a word! Brilliant! That's a cracking word. Word there of the day. Go. Word of the day. Right, Your position now, ability. I've got a couple of little bits of my acetate just showing out there. So I'm just going to literally trim them off just for neatness sake. And that is where we're going to have a little pause just for a minute to make sure that everybody's caught up. I'll just show you where I'm at and then we'll go into a little pause. I'm just making sure that this is even. Now it's exactly the same thing, but it's just that because I just had a, just not quite lined up, but that looks perfect. So where are we so far? We have made our easel card and we've lined the inside with our blue and we've lined the front with our dotty. And then we've created the front of our aperture and we've put acetate on. And that's where we're going to just stop for a minute and make sure everybody's caught up. Take a little pause. This is a good opportunity as well to ask any questions that you need to ask. So if there's anything you want to know, if there's anything that you would like to uh, have repeated, you can do. Uh, or if you just want to pass any messages through as well, uh, we would love to have those from you. Uh, details on your screen for the collection right now. If you want to grab the full set uh, with all 66 elements, allowing you to make those um, completely different cards, platinum price, £35.96 or $47.88. Uh, also worth bearing in mind that if you sign up, uh, become a Club Inspire member, uh, you can get that price today if this is your first purchase. And of course, uh, people who are signing up to Club Inspire uh, are also going to get uh, that £5, $5, 5 euro uh, credit added to their account as well as we begin from tomorrow to celebrate the big jubilee. Um, five days we're celebrating here at Crafters TV. Uh, the sequin die three-piece collection, I think, is a nice little add-on if you're going for um, this collection here here uh, maybe for example you are going for the two for two for 27 pounds two for 35 dollars or indeed if you're just a big fan uh, of making shaker cards then this is a great selection to go for because you've got the ability with the dies here to be able to create um, the shaker elements that can completely coordinate with your project from the card stock that you want to use uh, from the pattern paper that you want to use you know you can completely coordinate with a set like this and it cuts out for you in the three different sizes as well which is brilliant so that first one there is your jewel of love so all of those hearts one pass through will cut you all of those beautiful hearts in one go so you know what it may may well be that you don't need all of them for one particular project but then you've got plenty aside there that you can pop into a little baggie and uh, keep for another day then you've got your uh, sparkle and shake, uh, which is super cute. So again, you know, imagine cutting these out of your um, glitter card. Imagine cutting these out of some of that gorgeous uh, mirror card that we have as well. Uh, you know, imagine using uh, cutting with your acetate you could and colour these in. It's entirely up to you, uh, the kind of medium that you use. But once again, plenty it's going to cut for you in one pass in those three different sizes as well. Um, and again, you've got the ability to be able to totally personalise the projects that you're working with. And then your stars. This one is called the Shining Star if you want to go for it individually. It's a 20% saving across the bundle. You can see three different sizes of stars that you've got right there. And it's £15.19 for the set, or indeed £22.36 if you're shopping with us in the US and you're a Platinum member. I just think they're nice as well for potentially little embellishments for cards as well. You know, if you're making little mini cards with your, um, your Gemini Mini, for example, I think these would work in um, lots of different instances. Um, and a great little way, as I say, for you to be able to extend the collection that you're buying today. And then the acetate, uh, not the most exciting thing that you'll look at today. However, worth... Um, Bearing in mind that this is the kind of thing that you'll absolutely want to go for if you're making things like your shaker cards. Uh, of course, you can emboss into here as well. You can um, colour onto your acetate too. So if you want to be able to create, uh, you know, your um, own beautiful backgrounds that way, you can. Uh, but it's, it's kind of like a craft room essential, really, isn't it? Uh, and you're getting uh, three lots of this 25 sheets of your heavyweight acetate per bundle um, and you're getting three with a 15% saving. £16.30 or $20.30 is the platinum price on that collection. Uh, I think we are looking pretty good so far as far as the questions are concerned. Uh, nothing I can see that has come through so I think uh, you guys are uh, crafting along at a good pace with us. Uh, let's head over the border to uh, Scotland and see how uh, Lorna Jane is going. Are you all up to speed so far Lorna Jane? Is it looking good? Yes, I have. Yeah, I've got my, got the base done. Fantastic. And um, I got, I've got a wee extra thing done because I don't have so many apertures to cut out. Oh, lovely. And are you using different papers as well? Yes, I uh have. -huh. Um, they are 
Oh, I can't remember. I think is it farm, uh, farm? Oh, the fa farm, uh, farmhouse. Yeah, farmhouse, yeah, it could right. be. I think it's that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, excellent stuff. Uh, so you're up to speed. Uh, everyone else, I think, is up to speed as well. So I think we're going to take a little break. Uh, we are going to come right back in just a few moments' time and um, give you the ability to get crafting along with us as well. Uh, do let us know, by the way, if you are crafting along with us um, and you haven't yet told us, because we would love at the end of the show to be able to see all of your uh, pictures as well as to all of the uh, makes which you are making during this show. Right, uh, we're going to take a short little break and we will come back with the next part of the craft along. Any questions you've got in the meantime, do get those in and we'll be right back after this. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafters Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now. You were nearly so slick there. It's nearly. And welcome back. <laughs> All you needed was another three seconds and you'd have been slick. A little bit, another three seconds, it would have been... Would have been good. They like to try and catch me out in there. They like to try and make me look stupid. And you, you didn't. know. You didn't. I don't need any help doing that, do I? No. No. Never. Thank you. <laughs> uh, just before we come back to the uh, craft along, let's show you some of the uh, other goodies that we've got on the show. Like your luxury cardstock. Uh, this is, um, I think, rather a nice little set of um, card which would work perfectly with those uh, sequin dies because you've got um, the different uh, types of cardstock within here so you've got your glitter cardstock you've got your mirror cardstock you've got your matte mirror cardstock in there as well um, and you're going to get um, this multiple times over in a whole host of different colors so 30 sheets so you get 10 sheets of the mirror cardstock in um, each of the colors 10 sheets of the glitter cardstock and you're going to get 10 sheets of that gorgeous matte mirror as well so a great set to um, do all your mats and layers with but as i've said a great collection as well to create all of your own custom sequins with as well so you've got your beautiful purple then you've got your red there's some nice colors in here as well if you dare i say it are thinking about um christmas makes which we will be soon won't we we will be soon it's june tomorrow and we start christmas in july how is it june tomorrow I mean, I know how it is June tomorrow because it's the 31st of May, but how... <laughs> 1st of June always follows the 31st of May, doesn't it? But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, so there's your red. Then we've got your glorious uh, sort of Christmas green in there. Again, 10 sheets uh, of each of the different um, types of cardstock. Then you've got your gold in there as well. I mean, this is going to be perfect. Uh, also for Christmas makes, but I always think you know the gold and your silver is perfect for your, your sort of um, wedding cards as well and celebrations. So uh, 30 sheets there. Uh, you're also going to get uh, your silver as well. And then lastly, your gorgeous 
uh, ice blue. So again, uh, nice for your sort of contemporary Christmas uh, as well, but a lovely selection of colors. Really great saving on that as well today. £20.94 you're saving, $32.70. Uh, platinum members paying just £50.40, uh, uh, sorry, $50.40 or $31.20. Um, and as I say, if you're getting the sequence today, stock up on this as well, because it's a lovely, lovely card stock uh, to have. Weight-wise, it is, I want to say it's 300 250, uh, 250 GSM. So that's on the show today, worth popping into your basket. And also, uh, the uh, decoupage, flower decoupage dies. Oh, what are they doing over there? I didn't see those, those there. Uh, you've got the uh, beautiful flowers. I'll show you some finished samples here as well, because um, this collection is phenomenal, because um, it gives you the opportunity to create the most stunning uh, decoupage florals. So you're going to get a set of stamps and dies within each set. Um, brilliantly designed. So again, there's no faff with these. There's no sort of uh, having to measure anything or anything like that. You're just going to be uh, stamping these out, uh, choosing the colours that you want to work with, using the corresponding dies to create the most gorgeous, gorgeous florals. Whether it be for things like um, your uh, boxes, as we're seeing here, you know, stunning examples um, on your cards as well. And, and think about how many times uh, that you'll be making florals for your cards year round. You know, if you wanted to kind of make your own little uh, bouquets of flowers as well, I suppose there's nothing to stop you from getting some of that, the, um, like the floristry wire and creating bouquets that way, should you wish. You know, maybe there's somebody um, in hospital for, hospitals, for example. I know some hospitals don't allow um, flowers now anyway. So if you wanted to be able to uh, give somebody some flowers, then this is a great way to be able to do it. But home decor pieces, these would be perfect for as well. Uh, think about... Uh, you know, weddings too. We mentioned it earlier on, if you wanted to kind of uh, use these for um, the corsages or your um, little buttonhole florals. I mean, there's tons and tons of uh, reasons you would want these in your life. I'm just showing you that one on a little bit of a close-up. That's the one that Debbie Fisher made on the launch. Look at those fuchsias. Beautiful, aren't they? They're amazing. one of the prettiest cards I've seen in a long time. I think all of the flowers in this collection, and I'll, I'll show you the, um, the full set in just a second. I think all the flowers in this collection are amazing, but I think it's the way that the uh, dyes for the future um, have been designed that really kind of capture my imagination because I just think those are absolutely brilliant. Um, it's £19.95 or £22.40 that you're saving, $63.44, £55.99 if you're a Platinum member and you're getting those today. Um, I'll show you all of the different um, dies and stamps that you are going to get in this set. So you've got your um, delicate lily. Oh, I'm destroying everything today. It's very delicate. <sighs> not anymore, it's not. I'm just, oh, I'll have to borrow your tape pen in a minute. I'll give you some glue in a minute. Thank you. So you get your delicate lily. Oops. Uh, then you're going to receive your uh, beautiful sweet pea. Again, you can see lovely, lovely stamps. If you just wanted to stamp these out, you can do, you know, if you just wanted to die cut into your own um, cardstock and create that way, you can. But I think the fact that you've got the two together uh, to create some stunning, stunning cards. This one I love, it's the um, gorgeous carnation. Uh, then you're going to get the fuchsia. That's the one I'm talking about there. It's such a clever system to create uh, that gorgeous uh, fuchsia bud. Then you've got the rose in there too the uh, Radiant Rose, and then lastly in this set is that gorgeous, lovely lilac. And depending on how many times you cut these, depending on how you layer these up, depending on uh, what you use, um, you know, obviously you can use your paper, your card, you can use your flower forming foam, uh, you can use your vellum, you can create the most beautiful realistic flowers. The full set is on your screen right there. You can go for these on a, uh, a two for as well, uh, two for £26 or two for $30, uh, but worth looking at those and we'll show you those in more detail a little bit later on during launch party. Um, I'm coming over your way, I need to get some glue to stick that ball back together, okay. but we're back to the uh, craft along. Yep, there you go, I'll put Thank the glue you. over there for you. Right, okay, so then I'm going to do the last little bit to the sort of what I call the base and then we can go along and make the rest. So I'm going to turn my flower upside down and I'm going to start adding my um, shaker foam. Now what you need to do is you need to think about how, how many chambers you want. If you want to make this in the simplest form we could just put our shaker foam around the outside and then it would have one large chamber inside for you to um, put your elements in. So that would work absolutely perfectly. But what we're going to do is we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six chambers here. Now the key thing, and we say this all the time, is your foam needs to, to join up. And if it doesn't join up, 
then your shaker elements will fall through. Just making sure that's staying on the inside. So I've just created the first one. Oh, I can see a little bit of my foam. Let's just push that bit of foam tape just back up there. Now, when I say it's joined up, maybe you might say that's not going to join completely. But here's one of my sequin elements before. What, I've got to, what I'm thinking of is you've got to have a gap big enough for any elements like you can see like that little heart to fall through yeah so, so long as if there is the tiniest little gap it's just got to be smaller than your smallest sequin or glitter so once i've gone around the center i'm then going to go and create each of my individual little chambers in its own right so i can then just pop this one round here so this is going to be quite easy and i can go straight across the back there and then round and then pop that on there and as we go around you're going to need to do actually less foam tape because as we go around here you see we're just doing from there and then we're coming across here details for the uh foam and a roll on the bottom of the screen 10 meters you're going to get yes that's a jumbo once you, roll once you start with the shaker cards you're going to want some serious foam yeah yeah and then we can come on along the next one and just keep working on so this is probably this is probably the fiddliest bit that you need to do but it's, it's very um you can manipulate the tape very easily oh gosh that's yes. a good thing about it yeah really easy to do yeah and like i say we're just trying to make sure that there are no gaps and don't worry about it being pretty and if you haven't if you struggle and it comes and you rip it and it comes off that's absolutely fine no one's going to see this this is going to be completely hidden as long as you join up all your elements then you're going to be fine let's push that in and then i'm on my last one that went around quickly i didn't realize i'd done all of them so quick and again i'm not following the shape because it's underneath i'm just creating those little chambers so as long as i have it creating the elements that i need there we go and that is all i need to do right Perfect. so i'm going to put that to one side there we go you can see all hidden that's one side so i've got all of my elements here so let's start making some of the even more fun bits do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone and I'm going to put away my um, stamping platform. Yeah. And I'm going to get my rocker block out. Why would you do that on a live show for the very first time? Because just to show people that I can do it. One so woman, one I'm gonna rocker block, one chance. One chance. <laughs> I've got a big piece of card so I can do it again. <laughs> right, so I want three leaves. Right, okay. So I'm just going to stamp this out three times. So I, would not be do I would not be doing this personally, but, you know. See, all we need to do is just roll it, and you can even come back, roll, just put pressure on. You ready? Yay! Multi-talented, this out of my woman. comfort zone. Oh, yeah. Oh, Because I was saying yesterday, it. I was saying yesterday, even for the smallest ones, yeah. I still go with my stamping platform. Well, it's I horses might, for courses, comes... isn't it, really? Pardon? Horses for courses. Yeah. Whatever you, whatever you fancy, really. There we go. Two. Yeah, lovely. So is this literally the first time you've used a rocker block? Once. I've used one. But not one, on air. Not on air. No. Not on air. And let's do the third one. Now, it says on here I've got um, Spectrum Noir marker pad, but your, um, as we were saying, your Nina card, we're going to do some colouring. So as long as you've got your, you know, your alcohol blending paper, then you'll be fine. There we go. And the other one I'm going to do is this lovely little flower centre with all the little bubbles. So we're going to just do that one as well. Yeah. Now, there isn't a die to cut out the leaves, but no. there is a die to cut out this circle. Okay. If you want to use it. How are you finding the rocker block? Fine. Yeah. Is it, is it as uh, much fun as the platform or...? It's, it's fine. It's easy. I mean, it, it stamps out beautifully, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, you've, got, you've got a lot of control over it. So, yeah. yes, it was absolutely splendid right so let's start doing a little bit of coloring shall we i had a piece of card so all i'm going to do i'm going to do it the simplest coloring ever i've got four pens uh -huh. now i was going to use them all on my tri blends but in the studio i couldn't find my alpine green blend okay on the um on the tri blend Quite, so i've yeah. brought it in the brush that's but that's absolutely fine so all we're going to do now remember i've stamped with i didn't if i said my alcohol proof ink 
because it's alcohol proof so I can come in with my alcohol pens and all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in first with the first one right up to that line we're just going to colour in I'm just using the palest of my alpine greens just to go all over because remember it does pay go it does lighten as it dries so I'm just laying down the first colour and this is what we were talking about this earlier this is your smooth blend this is about getting that first coat nice and covered so we're going to have to do this three times so you'll be very good at doing this by the time we're finished there's uh, lots of lovely comments still coming through uh, Robbie just saying I've got the sequin dies I've got several out in different colors mirror and glitter um, to have to use as tiny accents on cars and I love them uh, Mary saying I really love this set I love this it's on my June list and June is not that far away June's tomorrow it is because did you know <laughs> In the first follows May the 31st. Wow. Um, I love the fact that you have like lists of things that you want. And do, do you put them a like, list for each month then, Mary? I, I need to know on that front when you say it's on your June list. Uh, and Robbie says, Corinne has got me excited about using card with my flower dyes. She does the best makes. Thank you. There's a lot of Corinne love coming in today, isn't there? Yeah. Looks 20 years younger, flower <laughs> genius, best makes, <laughs> expert with the rocker block. Wow. Yeah, I'll get some... Nice comments in a second. Oh, Ben. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come down where the black lines are with a darker pen. And I'm just going to bring that in and all the way down. So this isn't the darkest. This is AG3, Alpine Green 3. And we can just go in there. And then if you wanted to, you could just go in if you really want to do with the darker one that doesn't show up that much because of the black. I don't think I'll do that on the others because that doesn't actually achieve a great deal, but you can if you want. Pop that there. This is all, the, the overall look of this flower is quite, what would you, how would you describe it? It's, it's bright, it's primary colours, it's, it's very simple shapes. So you yeah. don't, we're not talking about coming in and, um, making the leaf you know trying to get the leaves so that they're um like realistic we're just trying to add a little bit of extra detail yeah however they come out is going to be absolutely fine so i'm just coloring up to that shading just to blend it in a little bit but we're just trying to come out with that sort of lovely chunky design and we're going to do that one and then all the way down here there we go this is a perfect day for Cullen. Can you hear the rain? Do you know what? Um, I've just noticed it over the last 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Um, and you, you really hear it, isn't it? Yeah, we've got, we got like really a tin, hear it tin roof, haven't we? And this is when I love being, cra when I love being somewhere crafting. Yeah. When it's horrible outside yeah. and you're just sitting inside. So you've got the roaring fire going. Oh. We haven't got a fire either. I'm actually quite warm. Oh, yeah? Mm. Oh, just nice today. I've but I know what you I've mean. I've took my cardi off. I've, I've warmed up. You've got a mug of your favourite tea or coffee cup of tea. nice cup of and cozy grey tea. Eh? a cup of earl grey tea a cup of earl grey no milk in no milk no nice and strong two sugars no oh, oh that's crazy I'd, no ra I'd rather ha i'd rather have a chocolate biscuit to instead of the sugar oh would you do you have no sugar no sugar no milk no sugar no milk yeah very easy yeah very easy for when you're traveling tea ah. bag i've got tea bags in a pot in my handbag you have the pot in your handbag? Yeah, I always got a pot in my handbag. A teapot? No, a pot of tea bags. Oh. <laughs> you said you can't always carry a tea bag and a teapot. No, no, a no. A pot no. of tea bags in your bag. Yeah. I see what you mean now. Um, and it means that wherever you go, I can still have my Earl Grey. My Laura drinks Earl Grey. Mm. I, I, can't, I can't get on with it at all. Can't you? No. It's got like a, a, it's a bit sort of um, like fragrancy, isn't it? That's the bergamot. The what? Bergamot. Oh, bergamot. Yeah, it's, yeah. that's what flavours it. Yeah, I don't really like it. Too posh for me. She has milk in hers. Mm -hmm. I, just y Yorkshire tea for me any day. You see, because I drink it, because I drink it black. Yeah. I f Yorkshire tea is too strong. Mm. What James just said. What about Darjeeling? That's fine. Like that. Yeah. What's that, what's, what taste? I don't do posh tea. What taste is that then? That's probably quite similar to your English breakfast. But. But no, no but. Oh. No. All right. No but. So Yorkshire tea is the same as Darjeeling? Mm, not strong. Ah. What about Lapsang Souchon? Oh, 
Now, don't get me started on Lapsong Sushong. That is, that is not nice. Is it not? It's like drinking tar, and it smells like drinking tar. <laughs> oh. But people use Lapsong Sushong in, as a, to make a blend. Do they? Yeah, it's really smoky. Um, yeah. I'm trying it's, to think of any more teas now. I think that's probably my... I like Lady one. Grey. I drink Lady Grey a lot. Lady Grey? Mm. What's that taste of? That's like Earl Grey without the bergamot. <laughs> what else is in Earl Grey then? Bergamot and... I don't know. Oh. But yeah, drink that a lot. Always, always, uh, always go. Shall I, t shall I be really, really show... When, when my daughter was... Shall you be really, really what? Finish your sentence. Shall I be really, I don't really know what the word is. Show off. When, yeah. <laughs> is that what you were going to say? Yeah. When my daughter was living down in London, if yeah. I and I fancied a real treat, and because she used to work at the Royal Albert Hall, yeah, um, she was just a steward at the Royal Albert Hall, so she wasn't far from Harrods when she went to work. And every now and again, I'd say to her, "Oh, just me, just call in at Harrods and get me a box of uh, of Earl, Harrods Earl Grey tea." Now that was nice at Earl Grey tea. Yeah. Yeah. That was my treat. And, and How much was that? Twenty pounds a box? No, it was about ten or a box. <laughs> How many tea bags did you get there? A hundred. <laughs> I get a hundred Yorkshire tea bags for about one pound fifty. <laughs> Aye. What did you bag? I said it was my treat, and huh? I would. I, it was my treat, and I'd savour them. It was like my after. You know. You like that cup of tea after you've had your tea on a night, yeah. and you sit down with that cup of tea while somebody else is doing the washing up. Mm. It's the best cup of tea when you know somebody else is washing up and yeah. you're not. Yeah. After you've had your tea, and I used to save. I used to have my Harrods Earl Grey as my treat then. Did you use a tea bag once, or at that price were you like using it again? When Top when of <laughs> when I didn't work, I used to I used to to use my tea bags twice. Mm. But now I, I now I, I work. I, I, I feel I'm I am worthy of a fresh tea bag every time. That's what I always say about you. Yeah, Wor Cor yeah Corinne. She's worthy <laughs> of a fresh tea bag every time. <laughs> I don't want any of you saying any different. <laughs> there we go. How about that? So just really simple. Just putting in little bits of extra colouring. And then what we're going to do is we're going to colour in our circle. So I'm just going to I'm going to take my gold yellow blend that's going to be my base color and then I'm going to use my corals and my burnt oranges as my dots so I'm just going to come around here and I'm just going to pick different colors I'm going to just come around here and just there's no pattern no random I'm just going to do different different dots I always panic you see when I make because I drink coffee more than tea right and I'm, very, I'm with my tea normally I, I I'm quite happy if it's strong or if someone literally just shows the the, the tea bags of water and puts milk in. I'm, I'm quite happy either way, but Laura's very pernickety about how she has her Earl Grey. Yeah. Um, so I, I panic when I make it because I, I never quite get the colour exactly right. It's either, I either go too strong or like too weak the other way. So yeah. It's a, yeah. And because they're her special, I mean, she doesn't buy Harrod tea I said bags, it was my treat. She gets the taste of difference ones, you know, <laughs> the ones which are a bit more expensive. And so, yeah, I always, I always panic if I get it wrong. I would definitely not make you a cup of tea with your Harrods tea bags. Not a chance. I haven't got is. any left. Because Jessamy's not been in London for two years now. I need somebody, somebody else who's visiting London. We've got anyone who's watching who lives in London. <laughs> uh, anyone, who's, anyone who's visiting uh, Harrods soon. Can you please go and pick up Corrin some Earl Grey, Earl Grey tea bags from Harrods? Because it's all I'm children. sure they have. I'm sure they have an online service. <laughs> they probably deliver it to you via horse and carriage as well, don't they? What, what, what? No. <laughs> I'm going to buy a pack for Laura just for putting up with you every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send her a pack and say, there you go. You deserve some nice tea Would bags. you, though? Would you, though? You say it's your little treat. If I was to make you a terrible, well, they'd both be pretty terrible, but a cup of tea with, like, a normal Earl Grey or get one of your treat ones, would you genuinely know the difference? Yes. Yeah, I think I would. Yes. They do taste slightly different. Mm. Maybe there that's we go. an experiment Can to you do at some point. <laughs> Tracy, make, Tracy here always makes me a nice Earl Grey cup of tea. Does she? Yeah. Yeah, whenever she brings in the tea, it's always Earl Grey. Is it? Yeah. Because I have my own box of tea bags here. Oh! Yeah. Maybe yeah. I should bring in some of my uh, posh coffee as well. I bought them in so that I can That's always... That's what I mean. 
I can have the, t the cup of tea of my choice. Yeah, you, you wouldn't drink the tea bags that we've got here, would you? They look nice, actually. Everyday savers or whatever they're, they're called. They're not. You know? I drink Clarence tea, don't you know? <laughs> you are really me. No, fa no, I know, no, fair play to you. Fair play. Nick, if I'm in London before you, I'm going to make a special trip. I wish you remember that. Oh. I always like to go in Harrods and have a look at what, you know, I Thank can't you. afford to buy. And I'm going to go and I'm going to get you some of those Earl Grey Harrods tea bags. That's very kind of you and I would appreciate them. If I get you for Secret Santa this year, I know exactly what, you, what you're going to be getting. <laughs> there you go. It's mm. not going to be very secret then, is it? Right, no, and then I'm just colouring no, in the background. Point. And I'm just using these colours because I think... If you look at my finished cards, they go so well, don't they, with mm. the theme? Can you see? Mm. We're just, you know, if you've chosen different papers, then, you know, choose your different colour um, pens as well. And this is just going to look so, it's just an extra little bit to uh, add. It's the detail, it's that attention to detail that people are going to notice when they get your card and they look, um, they look around and uh, look at it and just notice all those extra little bits. If you don't want to do this, then don't do this bit, but it's entirely up to you so there we go just coming round all the way around there it's <laughs> producer jamie's got it does look a little bit like a pepperoni pizza i think you're hungry i think you are seriously he should have had one of christina's jacket potatoes cheese and beans like i did for oh him. yeah uh, you know what it's going to see me through till i get home tonight is that is it no, I've got a sandwich for later, but it, I felt, I felt um, very um, full up after I'd finished. I had, I'd said, I told you this before the show, but I'd never read it until yesterday. We were in, um, went shopping in Audi yesterday. Other supermarkets are available. And um, I thought I'd bought... <laughs> not at today's prices, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> See the difference? Harrods, Aldi. Uh, <laughs> I shop in Aldi all the time, every week. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, and I bought what I because I like a, I like a quiche. I do like a quiche. And that's not posh, is it? Quiche, like a cheese and onion quiche. So I bought what I thought was a quiche, but it was actually a frittata. I've never had a frittata before. Boy oh boy, taste sensation. Do you know what a frittata is? I didn't. I literally didn't even know. It's like a pie without the uh, without the crusty stuff. The the. The cr without the pastry. Pastry. That's the one I'm looking for. Pastry. The crusty stuff. What's it called? Quick man, think. <laughs> pastry. Yeah, it's like taste sensation. So I had that today for me lunch with the. Uh, I'm sounding posh now, aren't I? I had a frittata uh, with some uh, salmon. Oh, yes. Salmon and frittata. I mean, I tell you what would have finished that off. A nice cup of old grey marrons. <laughs> <laughs> you are so mean. <laughs> right, so I've, t I've got the circle down from there and I'm just going to cut that out yes. from here. And I'm just going to use my mini because it's on the table. So we can just cut that out. But you can use, you know, <clears throat> anything will do. So we can just pop that through there. What's your favourite quiche? Mm, my favourite quiche. I mean, I used to like a cheese and ham quiche, but obviously I don't eat meat anymore. Um... Asparagus quiche. Um, the, face, the face on oh. it. Huh? The look on your face. I know. I I'm a bit old. I just like, I mean, I'm a bit plain and boring. Really. I, like, I just like a cheese and onion. Cheese and onion quiche is... Salmon and good. broccoli is nice. Salmon and broccoli yeah. would work. That's yeah. a nice one. Um, right, and I'm just going to cut these out now and I'm just going to leave the, like about a one millimetre border all the way around. Just a very slight border. I just use, my personal choice is to use large scissors to do this. I know we're all different and I'm sure I've spoken to Craig about this and he likes a small pair of scissors to do your foot, you to do, you know, to cut out your little snips. But again, I've still got my elbow anchored into the side of me and I'm turning the paper or the card, not the scissors. So the scissors don't move. The only movement on the scissors is to open and close those blades. And I'm doing as long a stroke or a cut as possible. There we go. And that's cut that one out. It didn't take long, does it? No, I think as well, if you're cutting, I think I would probably tend to use a pair of scissors with a longer blade. Because you can see, it makes, you know what I mean? You can see where you're going. Yeah. 
further. You can sort of gu guide yourself a little bit more yeah. along the parapet. You've got the, you, you're looking, I'm always looking, at, I'm not actually looking here, I'm looking here. Do you see where I'm about to cut, not where I'm actually cutting? Yeah. So you but can each to their own, you know. Yeah. You cut how, how it works for you. But for me, the key is to turn the paper and not the scissors. I think once I, w once I suss that out, and it takes, and that's why I actually clamp my elbow into my side. It, it's like that transition from driving a manual to an automatic car where you have to sit on your foot for the first three months. Sit on your foot? Didn't you, have you ever driven an a, a a automatic car? Yeah. Straight after driving a manual? Do you not try to change the clutch? Dip the clutch? No. <laughs> Funny you should say. I remember <laughs> I really one time where my, yeah, my wife uh, attempted to drive an automatic. <laughs> Nearly went through the windscreen because you don't have the clutch there, do you? So you always, when you're driving, <laughs> when you're driving a manual, you always use right foot for accelerator and brake, don't you? Left yeah. foot for clutch. <laughs> and she thought it would be... Can I see to put her left foot on the brake? And your left foot's not meant for the brake, is no. it? So you literally drove a few yards, put her foot on the brake. And I don't know, I didn't go through the windscreen. Honestly, boom! <laughs> like, oh, the brake pedal's a bit strong. I said, no, you use your front foot. You're supposed to still use your right and left. But yes, uh, <laughs> yeah. sorry. But yeah, the easiest way to transition from going from a manual to an automatic is to sit with your, with your, with your right foot, or your left foot, yeah, your, that's your, yeah left, your left foot. foot. Left foot tucked under behind you <laughs> so that you don't try to, to you know, to change the clutch. Is and that not uncomfortable? If, if, if you're on a long journey, surely you're going to get a bit of cramp in your, <laughs> in your foot, aren't you? Or you get a bit of a numb bum. <laughs> yeah. And if you're really tall, yeah, Jamie, your head would be through the sunroof, wouldn't it? Oh. You're just, oh, oh dear. dear, you're just, <sighs> right. That I'm was now... Jamie, not me. Don't it shoot was. the messenger. There we go. So those are my next bits already. Uh, so yep. hopefully everybody's caught up with that. So where are, where's my card base? So we've got our card base, we've got our flower, and we've got our little accessories. Oh, I'm going to cut out my butterfly next. So okay. I'm getting all the bits right. So this is from my Magnificent Butterflies. And is that the one? Yep, yeah, that's the one I wanted. There's just one missing, so I'm just going to get that and I'm going to run that through my mini again. But, yeah, it's entirely up to you. Yep. There we go. And then, the only bit we've got left to... Oh, we've got to, to make the stopper, but the other bit before we can form the card is the... Um, make some sequins. Okay. So we can do that next. And there we go. There's my little butterfly that's going to hover over the top. Isn't he lovely? I like that. He's cute. Yeah, so we're getting there. So should we make the sequence or do we need a pause? Which do you think? Um, I don't know. It's up to you. So I don't make, get paid to make those decisions. Okay, let's have a little pause yeah. and then we'll make the sequence. And okay. then we can put it together. We can okay. do that in one go. Make the sequence and assemble. Okay, um, lots of you joining in. I must say hi to uh, Mary Beth, who's joined. Uh, also hi to um, Evelyn, who's with us. Uh, Deborah Spencer says, I've been watching Good Morning America, uh, and they are covering the Jubilee, and it's raining so hard that they went inside. Raining in idea as well, to be honest with you. Uh, and we, of course, will be celebrating the Jubilee from tomorrow. Don't forget, uh, plenty of great deals for you. If you're a Club Inspire member, there is lots coming your way. I won't tell you everything, uh, but think things like, free gifts potentially, uh, maybe think about extra points potentially. So if you are already a Club Inspire member, lots coming your way. If you're not a Club Inspire member, make sure you get joined up because if you do, not only will you be able to get all of those kind of you know, benefits that we've got coming for you over our five day celebration, but you'll also, if you sign up right now, get a five pound, five dollar or five euro credit added into your account. So uh, plenty of reasons uh, to be joining up. Uh, hi to Sudan. Dyer says, good morning, Lord Ben and uh, Corinne. Uh, Lord Ben, you will be in trouble with the wife when you get home for making fun of her. <laughs> she won't be watching. Uh, and none of you guys will tell her, will you? Um, and Suzette says, I drive, says, I drive both here in Canada, uh, but most people drive automatics. Um, let's have a look at some other goodies that we've got for you. Coming up a little bit later on, we've got the uh, Say It With Style collection. 
Uh, this we launched with Sarah. It was Monday of last week, actually. And I know a lot of our US viewers would have seen this on um, HSN and would have picked it up as well. But it's a brilliant, brilliant way for you to be able to uh, not only have a sentiment for pretty much every occasion, but also to have the um, dies to be able to cut those sentiments out. And I'll show you what I mean. So it comes beautifully presented. This little box here uh, is going to house everything uh, that you're going to get. Uh, like, for example, all of the stamps which I'll show you. Uh, you're also going to get um, 50 sheets of your coloured cardstock. You're going to be getting in there um, a couple of wallets as well. So you can keep your dies in there or keep your, um, your die cuts in there as well. You'll get a magnetic die panel. You'll also get in there um, uh, five one metre pieces of satin ribbon, uh, five two metre pieces of baker's twine, plus card blanks, envelopes, uh, your uh, stamp panels, and also the binder to put them all in as well. But if I show you, this is the binder you're going to get. Uh, absolutely stunning. So you can keep everything in there uh, nice and safe. Uh, when we open it up, these are the pockets that you'll get. So, I mean, the pocket that we had down there had one of the dies in it, and you'll see how this die works in just a few moments' time. So you can store um, all of your dies in those pockets. You can also use them to store all of your die cuts, because this is what you're going to be able to do, you see. Multi-cut lots of different sentiments on lots of different styles of tags, little banners, uh, you know, tags that you can thread your baker's twine through, your ribbon through as well. It's a very, very clever system. Uh, there's your magnetic panel. So if you want to store your dies on there, you can do. Those are the two dies dies all right that you're going to receive and if you look at those and think well they're a little bit strange how do they all work they work in conjunction with the stamps that you're going to get as well so it's very very simply the case of lining these up with the crosses that you've got on each of the uh, different stamps to be able to multi-cut these out as you go and as you've seen you've pretty much got um, a sentiment for all sorts of different occasions they're beautifully uh, labeled for you as well so you've got birthday wishes time to celebrate just to say family ties uh, and tis the season but the joy about this is as I've said is that uh, you will be able to cut a whole host um, of different sentiments in one pass you know, the thing about this also is, is if, you, if you don't want to um, stamp all of them up maybe you've just got like a couple of specific sentiments that you want to stamp up you don't have to stamp up all of the others but you will then get some gorgeous little um sort of tag blanks that you can use at a later date for um different sentiments should you wish that one's just come a little bit on there there we go um but yeah sentiments for all occasions even christmas in there as well uh, and as i said whether it's birthdays whether it's anniversaries whether it's retirement uh whether it's cards for uh brother whether it's cards for sister mom dad uh there's just so much in there uh, and you've even got at the back as well um stamps which are going to be there for you um, over the christmas period as well i think it's a brilliant brilliant way for you to be able to create the most um, amazing uh, stamps and as I say uh, all of that comes beautifully presented in the little box with the binder with a 55% saving so uh, when this launched what £214, £269, uh, £75.99 today or $91.96 if you are shopping with us in the US. Yes, uh, good time to get those questions in. If you uh, have any questions, I think it looks all pretty good uh, as far as you guys crafting along with us is concerned. Uh, let's head over to uh, Lorna Jane, see how she is getting on. Are you all up to speed? Is all good with you? Um, yeah, I've got a confession to make. Um, I didn't have any colouring to do, so I finished mine. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Well, 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 hang fire with us. Uh, maybe you can pop the kettle on. Have a, have a cup of uh, Earl Grey. No, I'm just for sure. <laughs> Do you have a favourite uh, crafty drink that you, uh, that you have whilst you're crafting away? Usually I just have water or coffee, but today I need a bit more energy, so I've got a Coca-Cola. Oh, OK. And do, you, do you drink tea or not? I do, but um, usually only at lunchtime. And I drink um, English breakfast. My husband drinks Earl Grey, but it's got to be Twinings. Oh, OK. That's another good one, isn't it? Is it Twinings? Yeah, Twinings. Yeah. Anyone in your household drink tea from Harrods? I'm thinking about. I may do. I may invest in a pot of that for him for his Christmas. <laughs> invest. <laughs> That's the word. Invest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Lord of Dane, um, stick with us then, and we will um, we'll come and see your finished project in just a little while. Uh, but lovely to have you with us. Um, we are going to um, crack on uh, over this side and um, finish up. 
sequins. I'm going to cut some little flower ones off the actual die. So I'm just, I just was just checking that I could get them through on here. So this is our gorgeous um, glitter card, uh, and it's all encapsulated, and it still goes through. Really lovely. You don't need to go backwards and forwards, but I tend to, so yeah. it's, it's just easier. And then I'm just going to poke those out. So because it's got a coating on. They're cut, but you just need to pop them out. So I'm just going to do that a few times. So that's going to go, let's go around that way now. I'm going to just grab a piece of tape so I can get as many as these as I can. I've got another piece of pink card if I need, if I don't think I've got enough. But I've got some, so I'm going to do that. And I'm also ready to go. I'm going to do the sequin die on some silver, but I'll do that in a minute. I can, I'm just thinking about one thing at a time first. So let's just pop these. So get as many out of this little scrap. These sequin dies, I mean, this is the sequin dies from the actual die set, but aren't they a brilliant way to use a poorly scraps? You know, when we, as crafters, we keep all of those scrap bits mm. because we can't, can't bear to throw them away. So this is going to be the perfect way. You could have a session with just like your little machine like this, your mini, yeah. and some scraps, and just make a big pot of sequins. Yeah. I mean, that would be... A brilliant way just to craft on a wet day like today. <laughs> well, no, it's, and it sounds horrible out there now, it doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Sylvia's just said, we have heavy rain and proper rolling rumbly thunder, like oh, in dear. the movies here in London. Wow. Sylvia, if you're in London, any chance you could just stare <laughs> no. out for Corinne and get her some tea bags? <laughs> no, no, don't you be sending people... Oh dear. I'm going to have a quick look, see if you can actually my, get them um, online. My daughter took the twins for their first ever camping trip this weekend. Oh, That's was it they, nice they or came, not? It was nice until yesterday morning and they saw, and they were supposed to come home today. So they came home yesterday. She said everybody was in a good mood and everybody was happy. So it was better to come home at that point. But I think she saw, because it didn't have rain yesterday, didn't it? Yeah, it was pretty, um, it was pretty miserable. Late, it was later on, wasn't it? Yes. Because we were out walking yesterday morning. There we um, go. It just seemed to come down. It was 2 o'clock here, because it was just before we were due to go live with our 2 p.m. show. Yeah. And it was louder, much louder than it is now. Yeah. And we were like, oh, wow. I'm just going to sneak one more pass through there. Because the kids are off. That's the reason why the weather's so bad. Yes. See, half term. What's it supposed to be like at the weekend for all these Jubilee parties? Oh, I don't parties? know. I've not even looked. Oh. D dare we look? I hope it's nice because people put they put so much time and effort no. in, don't they? And it would be it would be such a shame. We've got a full on um, big day in our village with you know bands and uh, carnival competitions and Have stalls you? and stuff in the village. Yeah. I don't know what's going on in our village, but I'm a hobby maker, so I'll miss it on Sunday anyway. Um, but there we go. Right. So once I've done that, I'm then going to just get this large large knife. So this is my sparkle and shake. And I'm just going to run that through. And I'm just doing it through on my um, bigger plates, just because it's a bit bigger die. So that will work. Oh, sorry. I've just grabbed that. I keep nudging it because uh, it's gone through. And so there's one more bit to do in a minute. So look at that. Wow, look at all those fantastic oh, yeah. sequins. And I'm actually just going to leave that there for one minute. I'm just going to leave it on that plate until I'm ready. Because what I want to do now is come back to this flower die let's come off there and you see these little ones in the middle mm -hmm. they look a bit like sequins but we're going to take that and i've got a little strip of silver and i'm just going to cut that and i want about there's eight in there so i'm going to cut that three times and i'm going to see if i can get enough out just like that oh i need a piece of tape it's uh shadiah says uh lord ben i made a promise that no more shopping for the next for the next nine months? Wow, that's a long time. I mean, no more shopping for the next nine months? What would make you want to do Please that? Please do not entice me with free gifts. I will not break the promise. I will be sitting with my hands tied behind my back. <laughs> will you, though? Will you? I can't, I can't see that. I will be enticing you, should I? That is my job. Uh, and Nee Connie says, I wonder what happens if I get crafting with a Long Island iced tea within my reach. Does the end product get affected? Yeah. Does it? Probably. Potentially. I have, I have crafted with a glass of wine and... <gasps> Don't drink and craft. No. Yes. How was your end product after the glass of wine? Was it still good? It, it was okay, but it wasn't as good. No. 
The beginning bit was good, but yeah. the end bit wasn't as good. And it looked amazing at the time. And then when, yeah, you woke, when you woke up the next morning, you were like that. Oh, what is that? been in the craft room. <laughs> <laughs> I got my cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And the ladies have said, uh, referencing these dies that you said, a perfect solution for your scraps. I'm in the process of sorting uh, three Crafters Companion boxes full of random scraps. So, yeah, get these in your life. Yeah. Uh, and get creative. Because we said, you know, you think about all of the random scraps that you've got and all of the beautiful. Um, sequence that you can make for your shaker cards you'll have something for every project pretty much i'd imagine you certainly would right i'm keeping these separate i don't know if you've noticed i'm trying to make sure because they are for different they're for different elements i'm just doing all of the cutting while we go there we go so i've got the little silver ones down here and then i keep moving the glass mat when i'm not oops and then you move that away get those off there come on there we are and there we go. Right, have I got them all there? I think so. Let's put that back. Put it back. I'll just keep that silver just in case I need... Oh, they're flying away. In case I need any more in a few minutes. Okay, right. I think we've got everything now to start constructing. So I've got my sequins here. Oh, they're, they're coming off. There we are. Let's just take those off because they're coming off. Let's poke those through. I've got my sequins here. I've got my ready-made sequins here which again we were saying you could do yourself you could get some acetate get your sparkle pen brush it over and then cut them out that would look fantastic mm -hmm. let's just get these all off uh, can you just see oh there we go you can see there, i'm just poking those out of there oh come on these take a minute i should have got the the um dye brush shouldn't i that would have probably made it easier there we go i got them oh one left there we go. Right, so I've got, leave those to one side. So I've got my little floral ones, my, se my iridescent sequins, and my silver sequins. So I'm going to bring my card back in. And what I'm going to do is, just like we did this morning, I'm going to pop my sequins on. Oh, no, I missed, nearly missed a step out. I'm going to get my circle first. And I'm going to put a bit of wet glue behind there. I'm going to get my circle. Hopefully you can see I can bring this over. Let's just lift that out of the way. Nearly forgot. Get my circle after all that lovely colouring. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it behind there and then I'm going to work out my positioning. There, there we go. Is that right? There. There we are. Can you see? There we go. So that should be, when we look through that aperture there now, look, can you see? You've got the different, the contrast in there. So that's better. Okay. So now we've done that, we can now properly do. So I'm going to get my sequins. So I've got the six chambers. So I'm going to just slowly pop my sequins on. We can put these on. But remember, we need to make sure they're the right way up. So it's just a case of putting them on steady and slowly and steadily onto the six chambers. There we are. Don't forget the one in the centre. There we are. I'm just going to fill each one of these up as we go. If you want to flip that over. There we are. Got some more. Oh, why do they, why? It's like toast, isn't toast, it? You know, isn't if, it? You, if you drop your toast, it always lands face side down. If you drop <laughs> your sequins. Yeah. Why does, does it really always fall? Or is it just that you think about it when it, when it falls the right way? Butter side up, you don't think about it. Does it? No, matter? I think the majority of the time, every time I've dropped a piece of toast on the floor, it always does fall. Butter side down. Butter side, jam side down. It used to happen um, a lot when I was living back in Bucks and travelling up here. I would have like me toast and jam to take into the car. And of yeah. course, I, because I won't do things in like two or three trips, I always have to carry everything out in the car in one go. I'd have like a piece of toast in my mouth, balancing another one here whilst I was carrying my bags. And the amount of times that I dropped the toast onto the gravel on the driveway and <laughs> i would say i would say every time it landed L landed uh yeah face yeah, down a bit of roughage yeah a bit of roughage in there you know we have to watch out <laughs> with the old fillings when you uh, bite into a bit of gravel you know it's all good for the old constitution isn't it hey didn't right. do me any harm <laughs> um. right and again i'm just oh look at this every time Let's just start putting these on here. So we're just, so this takes the, the longest bit. This, like I say, this is the, probably 
the fiddliest bit. So once we've got this on, it'll then come together. Is that that? Um, I mean, it's obviously not a real experiment that ever happened, but they always say like if a cat falls, don't they? A cat always lands on its, its feet. feet. Yep. So what would happen if you strapped a piece of buttered toast to the back of a cat? <laughs> what would happen? The cat would lick the butter off the toast. <laughs> yeah. If there's anything like my cat, it would. Yeah. Yeah. My Every... cat is uh, 20 now. Wow. She, yeah, she begs worse than the dog. Does she? Yeah, if there's anything with, like, with butter, or if you're eating your cereal in the morning, like, she can smell milk from about three miles off, and she's there. Like, she actively, if you were, like, sat at the breakfast table, jump up to the breakfast table, and you have to, like, push her away from the bowl. And it's the same, yeah, it's the same if you're eating toast as well. She'll, she'll come over and try and, like, put her head on your plate to come and eat the... Uh, Come and eat the butter off. Yeah, Elsie is really lazy on a morning. She likes her bed. She stays in bed for ages. She's upstairs. You get up and she doesn't bother coming down. The minute that you minute she doesn't even come down when the toast pops out the toaster, when it hits the plate, yeah. you just hear this <laughs> and then running down the stairs. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's right, and I'm just gonna it. use my pre-bought sequins as well. These are easy because I don't have to work out which side are these are going to go on. There we go. There we are. Don't, oh, we want to put enough sequins in, but don't go too much, because if you put too much, then you'll find that um, they won't shake. They'll just, they'll just jam. So it's just finding that right balance between enough and too many. Yeah. So there we go. So now you can see I've got six little piles of sequins. If you wanted to, you could potentially put your sequins in there but then you'd have to put your card on the top. And I just find that really difficult to, to line everything up. It just doesn't, for me personally, I don't get, um, the finished result isn't good enough. So I don't tend to do that. So, but if that works for you, then go for it. So now all I'm doing is taking off the backing of my tape, trying not to get my fingers on it because every time I touch it, it's going to um, be a little bit less sticky. So we're just, Pop in this round here, taking this all the way off. And you can see we're getting close to sort of finishing touches. We've still got a few more bits to do. Yeah, I've we're got getting we're getting close. Got a few more bits and pieces to show you over this side, and I think we are gonna did I dream a break or did you say break at some point? Oh no break. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but I'm sure then you said then we're gonna go for a five minute break. Is that what you did you not say that? <laughs> That's so easy in there. So producer Jamie, um, he's, he's producing today, but Erin's um, in uh, doing a little bit as well. And I, I, I just said, oh yeah, I thought we were going to go for a five minute break. And I just heard Erin, because she's not on the, the headset, there's way in the background going, five minute break? <laughs> there we go. Oh, we right. never have five minute breaks here, ever. Never, ever. There, right, now look at that. Now we've got lovely little sequins in each of the chambers. There we go, and you can see them all just moving around like that. Isn't that absolutely perfect? And all secured in there as well, which they is They are all secured, look, nothing's coming out. Yeah. That was a test. Nothing's coming out. Those are ones that were already out. Oh, maybe that one did. No, that must have been on the table. No, because there's none coming out. They perfect. are very well secured. Right, do you want to show us something or should we stick the next bits on? Which would you like? Just um, stick the next bit some? Okay, I'm going to, because nobody's told me different. I didn't even get a chance to answer. <laughs> you weren't quick enough. Huh? You weren't quick I enough. Wait, I was waiting for producer Jamie to say. Okay. Jamie, what did you want to do? Ah. Uh, uh, what do you mean? So Corinne's going off script, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to put my leaves on, and I will stop in a minute then. <laughs> <laughs> You're having a good time. That's the main thing, isn't it? Yes. And I can wait. You can wait. I can wait. Everyone wants to see this. They don't want to see me. So all we're doing is just, I'm just using my tape um, pen and I'm just sticking these behind. This is, this is where the finishing touches come together, isn't it? Can you see? Just yeah. adding those lovely finishing touches. Just putting those leaves on there. Right. So let's, let's pause and then you can do your little bit. And then all I've got to do then is put my butterfly on, my little silver bits there, and make myself a stopper. 
Super duper. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're into the home straight on this one. It's been a lovely little project, actually, and uh, hopefully achievable for everybody as well. If you haven't yet got this collection, hopefully this craft log has made you go, oh, yeah, do you know what? I, I, I quite fancy making one of these shaker cars. You can get them individually. You can go on a two for as well. Two for £27 or $35. That's before your discount, of course. But if you like the idea um, of this collection as a whole, this is the way to be able to buy it. The details on your screen right here. Uh, just as we pause, this is the perfect time to get in any questions, should you wish, any comments you want to throw our way as well. Um, I did just want to show you some of the items which are coming up for you later on on launch party. So that's with you from six o'clock this evening. Um, it's a three hour show once again, because of course we'll have our final hour with uh, Gordon from Be Creative, who incidentally is with us in half an hour's time uh, for his second hour. Items, by the way, are disappearing from the Be Creative range that he's brought in today. So if you want to see those, head to the website, because I know we've had more items uh, um, sort of go limited and I think we've had some sellouts as well uh, which I'll, I'll update you on in just a little while but uh, back to last week where Jan and I launched the 3D template collection these flew out the door and they're still proving very popular actually because what they allow you to do are create the most amazing project um, that you're seeing on screen right here and the genius behind these is the fact that uh, anyone can do them first up and actually you don't need a huge amount when it comes to like tools and equipment. So whereas normally, like if you tuned in for the first time and you thought to yourself, oh yeah, I wanna take up making cards and you know, all that kind of stuff, you, you might need to think to yourself, okay, well, I'm gonna to need to buy things like, uh, you know, die cutting machines, for example, or I might need to buy things like stamping platforms if I'm gonna get involved and do all of that. But actually what we've done with this particular system is giving you a set of templates where, you know, additionally, you might need to buy, um, you know, some cutting implements, you might need to get like a, a craft knife, for example, uh, you, you'll obviously need a, a pencil with these as well, which you probably already got at home, uh, and you'll need some adhesives as well. You don't need to outlay a lot of extra money to be able to create with these. So you've got the uh, first template here, which creates this absolutely stunning uh, box that is your, um, your tulip. And again, that one will open up for you. So if you want to use that as a little gift box for somebody for popping in uh, you know, some jewelry, uh, maybe some chocolate sweets, whatever it might be, uh, you can do. I think these would also look really, really cute uh, as little table decorations, you know, if you wanted to pop one of those little LED candles inside. Uh, you, you've got the ability to be able to do that as well. Really, really cute. Uh, then in this set, you've also got uh, the beautiful bow. And again, how stunning is that? Whether you're placing it onto a card as you're seeing here, or again, if you wanted to kind of lay that flat and use that as a decorative piece for, uh, again, a table setting, uh, a table placement, popping a candle on top of, potentially you could. Beautiful on the, uh, the lid of a box. Great for home decoration as well. These are really, really stunning. And again, super, super easy to follow. Full instructions are included with all of these. And also, uh, you do get the link to a uh, what we call a magic hands video. So a video where you can uh, watch exactly how you put these together. This one here is that beautiful butterfly box card. I mean, how stunning is that? Uh, using the different parts of the template to be able to create the box, to be able to create the um, outer butterfly and then the, uh, the inside as well, where you're gonna be able to pop whatever sentiment it is that you want. Uh, 19 pounds 18 or 24.76 is the deal on this. As I say, if you do plan on jumping in and grabbing this today, please go back and watch uh, the launch, which was, mm, I think it was last Wednesday. Um, where Jan did um, all of these right across the day. You'll see the, um, the demos sort of uh, thrown in on the, uh, the three shows where you'll see demos for all of those. So basically, you've got instructions plus Magic Hands videos plus all of the tuition with Jan as well. So do make sure you go back and have a look at that. Uh, right, let's also have a look at something which, as I say, not the most exciting thing you'll see on screen today. However, um, you know, like your acetate, the kind of craft room item that you don't necessarily want to run out of, red liner tape. So your uh, super sticky double-sided tape, which is absolutely perfect for your construction. We've got these available for you in the three different sizes. So uh, you've got the six mil details up on the screen. So there's your uh, six mil. We've got it in three different widths for you, three, your six, and also your uh, 12. So you're going to get three rolls there uh, for just five pounds 59 platinum or 13.59 it is i want to say 10 yeah 10 meters on each roll so 30 meters uh, of your six mil uh, for 5.59 or 13.59 you've also got it available in the three mil as well uh, once again uh, that is uh, 10 meters on each so 30 meters of your three mil 
Uh, you find the details on our uh, website for that. And then lastly, you've got the 12 mil uh, as well. Uh, and again, you've got, just double checking, yeah, it's 10 meters on the uh, rolls of 12 mil for you uh, as well. And once again, uh, you'll find the details for that on the web. Right, uh, I think we are all pretty much up to date. Uh, lots of you loving the templates. Um, Mary saying love this, especially the tulip. Uh, Shadai saying I got the 3D templates yesterday. Uh, I have it on my desk. I cannot wait to play. Uh, and Barbara saying that tulip is lovely. Uh, must say hello to Jane as well. He says I have a 20 year old cat as well and she's more active than my two year olds. My, I, I can't, I must, um, I'll try and do a video at some point, I'll show you my cat, because she's 20, but she looks about seven, and she's still, like, she's full of beans, honestly. Um, I think, I think she might, like, break a world record, like her owner. Uh, and Wilma says, Ben, my cat, Gordon, talking to Gordon, he's coming up in just a bit. My cat, Gordon, not your cat, Gordon, Gordon from Be Creative. My cat, Gordon, is also 20 years old. He's very demanding in his old age. Yeah, exactly, exactly the same. Uh, and Nikon says, Lord Ben, of course we love to see you. You are a sight for sore eyes. With your waistcoats, your colour choices, your dulcet tones and your creativity, what more can we ask for? Well, I don't know. I mean, so, a, cra a craft award is what more we could ask for. Uh, category number 11, Ben Mosby, B-E-N. B-E-N-M-O-S-E-B-Y. Uh, and also, whilst you're there, why not vote for my lovely uh, partner in crime today, the mm. beautiful, the ever youthful, <laughs> flower genius, uber talented lady. Stop that now, that, stop that is. You're making me blush. <laughs> oh, Grey, drinking. Only from Harrods, mind you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Colin, stop we're going to finish now. up, aren't we? We are. We're going to just finish off our card. Right, so we're now going to pop on these little tiny silver elements that we cut out. So I'm going to pop these on and what we're going to do is we're going to pop them all the way around the middle circle. So I'm just going to put some of my tacky glue on my mat because this is I think this is going to be the easiest way to do this. So I'm not going to go too far because it might start to dry. And I've got my squeezy tweezers. I love my squeezy tweezers. I've used squeezy tweezers for a good couple of years now and I tried to use some regular tweezers not that long back and I got into such a tangle I was I was squeezing and not letting go the squeezy tweezers the one that you don't you, you squeeze to unlock them yes you were. squeeze so when Release when you them. want so if I I find them so useful for making the flowers mm. because you pick something up and then you don't have to hold you squeeze it shut yeah it just stays shut and which is absolutely brilliant if like I say if you're flower making um, because it just makes life so much easier and now I find it hard to use the other ones for things like that they just get relegated now to to doing my eyebrows there to we what? go doing your eyebrows doing your eyebrows those, those tweezers are only good for doing your eyebrows uh, i think personally yeah <laughs> <laughs> i have to do mine now and again now eyebrows yeah. i get this i get this really in both of them do you ever get like really <laughs> well you wouldn't because you're obviously very youthful but now and again i just get this really long one which just grows so much longer than any of the others and it's like wiry and gray and uh yeah i have to well laura normally grabs it because she normally spots it before i do but yeah <laughs> plucks it out i think that's a sign of old age isn't it yeah getting gray hairs growing up your uh, eyebrows. eyebrows exactly right yeah. i'm just putting these on and i'm being quite methodical because i know what i'm like i can put things on and then i'll end up i won't be very even so i've done I've done on the, you know, the, the th four um, compass points and I've done halfway between each compass point. And then when I look at those, I'm thinking, let me just get one without any glue. Yeah. I'm not going to go in. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to go in the middle. That looks quite right. Could, or could I get two in there? No, I can get two in each of those gaps. So we can put one, one there and one just there. There we go. And all right, it takes some time to do, but it's often these little finishing elements that really just give it um, a lift. And you've got them up and you've got them all um, in the die. So why not use them? I've got glue on my tweezers now. I need to clean my tweezers, I think. Let's just straighten that up. And had a special request from uh, Lorna Jane as well. Go on then. Uh, 
I, I don't know if I can do this. It says, uh, Ben should do Joe's shake a card, shake a card ditty, please. Do you know that do you one? Know? I don't know. Apart from shake a card, shake a card, is there more to it than that? I don't know. Does it, I think, is that it? Doesn't he just go... <laughs> does he do it in a high-pitched voice? I don't know. I actually don't know. What does I he do? Does he just, I, don't, I don't think he does it anymore, does he? I think he just goes, shake a card, shake a card, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. That's all I could imagine it would be. Yeah. I think that's it. There's a shake a card, shake a card. I think that is it. Let me know if it's any different. I think I'm going to have to cut some more little silver ones out of... You're welcome, Lorna Jane. I hope that lived up to everything that you... I hope. Expected. You can tell me in a minute. <laughs> One, two, three. I need eight. Well, I've got three, four. I've got five. Oh, I'm going to have to run through and get some more silver. I told you I might need some more silver little pieces. There we go. We're so nearly finished with this. No. It's lovely. Oh, we've got the butterfly to put on as well, haven't we? Oh, yeah. And make the stopper. But it's still coming together. Where did the butterfly come from again? The butterfly was... There we go. The Magnificent Butterflies. Oh, uh, OK. Oops. Put that on the wrong To side. be fair, though, I'd imagine the majority of you probably have... A butterfly, a dragonfly... Yes. ...or some little element that you can, that you can use. Right, where was that? I've lost... Oh, it's there in the centre. Couldn't see for looking. There was that. And that little piece of silver that I was using. No, it's gone. I'll use that piece. There we go. And put that in the middle of there. Pop that down and run it through. What are you cutting with that? Pardon? What's, what have you put in there? The, I hadn't cut enough of the silver element. You know, those uh, little... Sorry, that was just the little silver ones. It turned out when I've stuck them on, I'm th I think I'm about three short. So I just thought I would create a few more. Yeah, I've got one, two, three. That's all I need. Oops, I've just put my scissors in the glue. That was silly. Welcome back, Bubble and Squeak, who says, I had to tend to hubby and cat for five minutes. Did I miss anything? No, we're just literally putting the little silver gems, not gems, sort of like elements all the way around the flower. And you can put as many of these as you want. But my top tip would be, be quite methodical. You know, break it down into a pattern mm -hmm. so that they're evenly spaced. Otherwise, I'd have them all clustered at one bit and then have none around the other side. So there we go. We're still coming together. We've got our card coming together just like that. Yep. So let's do that butterfly. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get my um, dotty tape pen, go down the middle of there, and I've just got a slither of acetate so you know the acetate that if you had an a5 sheet for there the, for the middle then you're going to be able to just trim off a little piece on the back and just just put that on the back of there so what we need to do now is this is going to sit it's going to sit about that high can you see just almost if you think almost in a curve with the same sort of within the same arc as that so I just need to there we go this will then cut that to there now I need to put the glue on the front so I'm going to go with my adhesives there we go and I'm going to turn that round and I'm just going to pop that there put that behind here there we go and that's the tiniest little bit of glue but it holds really well but it still has that, that. Right, so the last thing we need to do, the yeah. very last thing, is our stopper. Oh, yes. So we have lots of sentiments here. So we have, have a blooming, wonderful day. Friends are flowers that never fade, born to bloom. So which one have we got on here? We have, have a wonderful day. Have a blooming, wonderful day. So that's not, yes, we've done it there. So we've got the stamp there, and we've also got the banner. So I am going to use my stamping platform because I want to make sure it's lined up perfectly. And I'm going to do it on a piece of yellow cardstock just uh -huh. because it's going to work beautifully with the colours. So it's up to you which order you do this in. But I'm going to do the pennant first because I'm, I think I can then line up the sentiment. That's a blooming good idea. Yeah. That was... Uh... Erin's joke that she just did, so I thought I'd pass that on. There we go. Right. Don't I love the most about Corinne. 
<laughs> yeah, I love the most about her is that she just moves straight on. There's no, there's no reference to it. I've known Corin for many, many years, and that's what I love the most. I, I'll, I'll keep trying, as I always do. I'll keep trying. Uh, it's like being at home, if I'm being honest with you. It's it exactly like being at home. I you know, I say something, just moves on. Moves on. <laughs> You'll have to talk to Colin one day because he will tell you it's exact. That's exactly what it's like the at home. Thing is, though, it's like being at home. It doesn't it doesn't discourage me. If anything, it makes me want to do it more. He says to me. He says yeah. to me. Do you get? Do you? Does it? Is it a crime to laugh at your husband's jokes? Yeah. He says. I bet. I bet if your colleagues tell a joke, you'd laugh. He tells a joke, and I go. Oh. <laughs> but the thing is, I, I reckon it's probably, and it's probably the same with me and Laura, the jokes that I tell, she's literally heard about a zillion times oh, before. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah, oh, that's the reason yes. why. But I carry on. Yeah, Colin and I have been... it makes me laugh. I, it's even better than getting a reaction to not get a reaction. <laughs> Colin and I have been together 31 years, and yeah. he's still telling me the same jokes. Yeah, and he still 30... thinks they're hilarious. <laughs> yeah. And he probably still laughs at them himself. Oh, gosh, yes. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Sometimes exactly right. he starts giggling before he's even Yeah, yeah because he joke. knows what's coming. <laughs> he knows what's coming. Okay, so now I'm going to just to line this up. <laughs> just to line that up. Oh, this is the trickiest bit. Line that up just there. But now it, it's it's all oops, that's not that's moved. Don't you think it I, well, you wouldn't know because you'll have to ask Laura. Yeah. It's it's almost a principle now that you're not allowed to laugh, I find. <laughs> Uh, yeah, potentially, but it's a win if I, if on the odd occasion, if on the 99th time out of 100, I do get a little snigger or a little, you know, a little, um, oh, that, that's, I mean, yeah, that's why I keep trying. Yeah. You know, that's why I keep, I keep going. And that's why I'll never stop here. <laughs> so you just have to put up with it. <laughs> right. There we go. There we are. Oh, can I just say, uh, Gwen, um, our resident Riddler, has just come up with the best excuse ever to have to leave watching a show. Not that you have to give excuses, but she's just messaged, I have to go. The cow has escaped, and I have to help round her up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, if you ever need an excuse, you've got to find one better than that. Um, I, hope you, I hope you go quickly, Gwen. You better move. <laughs> There's another one for you, Corinne, because it's a cow. Oh, oh, oh. oh dear. Oh. I hope it's only one cow and another one hasn't got loose. <laughs> I'll keep milking these cow jokes. Oh, there's another one. Uh, oh. Put a coat on when you go outside. It might be Frisian. <laughs> no, stop now, please. Okay, sorry. I've just put double. I've just put double foam on this because it's going to be my stopper. So all okay. I've done here, while Ben was taking it, telling us his lovely jokes, stamp the pennant, put the um, sentiment in, and die cut it out. Or everything is from the um, die set. Now, if you have bought all of the die sets, then you will have um, a choice because you know the sentiments are interchangeable. It's way around, right? So then. We can open this up, and I always, I always say this: it's quite handy to let the card. You can feel where is. You can tell when it's too far because you know it's going to sort of tipple over. But if you sort of feel where it sits just right, and then we can pop our pennant on, just like that. And using that double height foam really helps. And hopefully, you have been able to create something. Maybe different, that's your inspiration, and I'd love to see what everybody's created. Have you created something a little bit different, or is it exactly the same? Thank you. Thank you. Um, what did you say, Erin? Oh, yes. Share your images on our social pages, because our... our um, Emails are playing up apparently. We've got we've got we've got gremlins. So um, yeah, if you want to make or if you've already made, do share your pictures on um, our page, on my page, on Corin's page, on the um, After I'm a Crafters Companion page. We want to see your pictures, so um, do send them in, please. Uh, Shadia has just said stunning. Um, yeah. Corin, uh, she's also sent in some laughing emojis, which is obviously about my hilarious jokes. Uh, let's see if uh, Laura Jane is laughing in uh, Scotland. Uh, yes, I can see that she is in my uh, monitor. Quick, get her on while she's still laughing. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, wow, Laura, talk us through yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. You finished it in quick time, didn't you? 
Yeah, I didn't do the colouring in. I promise the next time I'll try and slip to the script. <laughs> no, but I, I love the fact that you've sort of taken, you know, the idea and gone on your own tact with it. Um, what have you got as your shakers in there? Uh, yeah, I've cut out, so the, um, inside there's a little thing that you can cut out, little flowers. Um, yeah. So I've got some of them, I'll, I'll, closer, I've got some of them plus some sequins. Wow, that is fantastic. And did you enjoy it is the main thing? Yeah, yeah, it's good fun. Yeah. I enjoy coming along and speaking to you. Yeah. You know, you know, crafting along. <laughs> you look like you've been very busy as well. I'm just having a nose over your right shoulder there. It looks like oh, you've... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that's the card I got for being on the show. This one. That, that. <laughs> um, that was Jan made that a couple of weeks ago. And um, you get a card for, for a thank you. So yeah. that's quite pleased. That, that, that's a lovely card. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always a nice little added extra to come on as a craft along guest, isn't it? That you'll get a little card from us as well. Yeah. Oh, and you can see the other one. Um, it's it's hiding at the hold on, I'll try and. Oh, well, it looks. Yeah. There, there we go. Yeah, it's there somewhere. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Uh, There's a slight delay, just a second or two, between me and um, and it coming on screen, so that's why I was being very slow. Well, listen, we always love having you on um, the craft alongs, and hopefully we'll get you back on very soon. Have you got any plans um, for the week ahead? Have you got any Jubilee plans at all? Um, there is, um, on Friday, there's a, a street party we've been invited to. I'm not sure if I'm going to make some cakes. I might do. Um, and I'll, I'll be back on again on the 5th. When are you back on? The 5th. Oh. Sunday the 5th. Well, uh, am I here for that one? No, I don't think I am. But I'm sure it's going to be fabulous. And then, um, Lorna Jane, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and thank enjoyed... you for doing Shake a Card for me. Oh, Shake a Card. Shake a Card. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for laughing at my jokes. You can definitely come again. Uh, <laughs> enjoy the rest of your day, Lorna Jane. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, absolutely brilliant. And as Lorna Jane says, do you know what? It's such a fun thing to do a craft along. If you've not done one before, come and join us. Come and give, us, give it a go. And uh, you get a nice little card as well as a thank you uh, for, um, for joining us on these shows. I'll just very quickly uh, show you the items that you're going to get in the main bundle. And then we'll just read a few more of your comments as well, because there's lots of you commenting um, on the show. Uh, so it's the Shape Shaker card die collection, 66 elements in total. Uh, the every single time let me start off with the one that we have just the ah oh, these are coming off and all what's going on let's start <laughs> let's start off with the uh, born to bloom so the uk exclusive which corin used in the last demonstration so if you decide that you just want to go for one and you want to be able to uh, copy corin's demo that's the one that you will need to go for you can get these individually as i said or on a two for 27 pounds or 35 dollar deal then you've got this one here which is your cheers to you uh so yes as um, lorna jane was explaining as well you've got the different dies to be able to create shakers already in here so you don't have to buy the extra sequence dies but we just think it's a nice thing to be able to do because then you've got even more choices to what you put into your shaker cards and of course uh, you know with all of the papers and card stock that we've got on the show as well you can use glitter card you can use your mirror card your map mirror whatever it might be you've just got a lot more choice this is the eau de parfum so that's the one which uh, laura jane chose to use and again made a lovely lovely card with so all of those different elements all stamps all dies really really nice and simple to do and then lastly in this collection is the hello beautiful which is the butterfly hello uh, this is the one that Corinne used earlier on on Wake Up Call to create her card for that. So if you want to go back and watch that one, is Wake Up Call that you need to go and see. Uh, lovely shaker card, Corinne. Very cheerful, says uh, Mary Reno. Was uh, love Lorna Jane's craft room. I'm jealous, says Bubble and Squeak. It was very, was nice, wasn't it? Very really tidy as well. Uh, Pammy says tiptoeing into the room late. Uh, hi again, Ben, Corin, and Gordon. Lovely to see you, Pam. E. Uh, Nikon says, I thought Ben's head was going to hit the table with that bow. Lol. No, I've, I've got it down to a down to a T, uh, you see. Uh, Elaine says, Ben, you are hilarious today. Thank you, every day. Um, and Shaddai says, Lord Ben, never mind Rebel Joe. He's in my naughty corner until he gets back from his vacation. I have demoted his title for interfering and starting shenanigans with foam on a roll. Apparently, try you can't, you, it'll never be cancelled. I might use it a little bit more sparsely, but it'll always be there. It will always be there. Uh, right. 
we are going to have a little break because we have got to welcome back um, uh, Gordon from Be Creative. Uh, what I will say is he has brought tons of goodies to bring to you. Um, a lot of them are flying out the door already, but you're going to see some amazing demos coming up. Um, if you're perhaps thinking about dipping your toe in the world of uh, mixed media, particularly screen printing, stand by because uh, he's got some amazing products and demos up his sleeve in around about five minutes time. <laughs> had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Put away your tape measure and fabric scissors. The Threaders Fabric Cutter offers accuracy and precision with every cut. This handy tool slices through fabric in a guillotine style. Its ergonomic design features a comfortable and protective handle so it's safe and easy to use whether you're right or left-handed. Its 45 millimeter rotary blade will cut up to six layers of fabric at a time, so your sewing, quilting, and upholstery project times are cut down to size. It's equipped with a measuring guide in metric and imperial for a perfectly accurate cut every time. The built-in grid ruler has 30 degree, 45 degree, and 60 degree angle lines, so you can cut fabric on any angle, including the bias. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Welcome back. Hello and a very good afternoon. Good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. Uh, oh, we're having a lot of fun here today. A uh, lot of fun, a lot of laughs uh, and lots of crafty fun. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that craft along. As I said, do uh, make sure if you've crafted along, you send in pictures. Um, send them to me on my Facebook page or send to Karen on her Facebook page or indeed just whack on the I'm a Crafters Companion Facebook page, uh, page so we can have a look. Um, and as always, we continue on. Corinne will be back from uh, six o'clock where we've got launch party. And we'll also be spending another hour uh, with the gentleman who is with me now for the next hour and three minutes from Be Creative. It is the one and only, I call him the great Gordini. Uh, you call him uh, Gordon from Be Creative. How are you, sir? I'm all right, thank you. Um, it's lovely to have you back with us again. And um, a little bit earlier on, we were looking at um, all of the goodies that you've brought to us. Um, talking a lot about um, screen printing and how you've made it very accessible and something we can now do in our craft room. That's right, because everyone perceives screen printing to be messy, requiring a big tool, requiring a spreader tool, re requiring oh, lots of mess with gel inks and everything. But we have reinvented screen printing using our stamping platform, which is, a, this is the new one, the Stampers Friend Pro. Yep. So this afternoon, we're going to be doing some screen printing. We're going to be doing some stamping in it as well, obviously, because that's what it's made for. So we're going to be showing you all sorts of things, and we're going to be making a mess with the crystals as well. <laughs> oh, we like that, making a mess. Uh, yeah. We'll give you the details on the Stampers Friend Pro uh, very shortly indeed. Uh, the crystals we will talk about uh, very shortly as well, which I know are proving very popular. However, let's talk about the gel ink. And whilst we have a look at the different colours, um, we'll, we'll chat to Gordon about <coughs> these as well. Um, 75, just to get, get, get you in the picture here, 75% of the uh, silver has already gone. £6.47 or $7.30 uh, is the platinum price here. Um, so Gordon, just talk to us about the, um, the gel ink. I suppose, first of all, what is it? And secondly, what will we use it for? We say call it gel ink, it's, it's a sort of an ink, but not really. It's a cross between a paint and an ink, really, I think, and a gel. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so they're incredibly thick. They, they, they do look like jelly when you see them in the pot. 
Um, you might actually, when you get them, you might want to take a little thing and just stir them up, just mix it in properly. I don't think you have to, but you might want to do that. Yeah. But basically, if you use these with your, the mesh screens we have here, or any other screens for that matter, um, you'll be amazed at the result because we know the screens are made up of thousands and thousands of micro holes and only gel inks and uh, actually acrylic paints or two will go through those holes to actually uh, give you the detailed image that you're looking for. Um, the gel inks are best used with the Whizzy tool we have on the show today. Yep. Because if you use the Whizzy tool, your gel inks, each pot of them will do on average 100 plus screens, wow. maybe even a lot more than that, mm. because you're only using a fraction of the gel inks. If you're doing it the other way, using a spreader tool, then that, that will be different, but it's up to you. So um, the other good thing about the gel inks, we can also use them with stamps. Wow. So if you've never seen that done before, I'm going to try and do a bit of that this afternoon as well. Yeah. Excellent stuff. So all of that to come. So if you want to grab these in the different colours, you can do. Uh, <coughs> again, all the same price, £6.47 or $7.30 if you're platinum. That's the gold that you've got there. Um, a quarter of the stock of the gold has disappeared. So very, very busy um, across the board on these as well. Uh, next up is your gorgeous uh, bronze. 20% uh, of the bronze has disappeared. So they're all going at a fairly quick rate. It's the silver that you're gonna have to get your skates on with particularly though. Uh, 730 or 647. Yeah. When we were formulating these, which was uh, about three years ago now actually, uh, the other brief we gave to our manufacturer was to pack as much of the metallic pigment in as we yeah. could. And the, one, the reason why we hardly have to use any of it, as you'll see me doing again, is because of the amount of pigment we packed into the gel inks. So that, that's quite an important thing. Yeah, yeah and, you, and you will see this in the demos in just a few moments' time. Uh, you know, if you're looking at that and thinking, you know, oh, it's not a massive pot, you don't need a massive amount, particularly like Gordon says, when you're using the Wizzy tool, which is available on the show, uh, you use a very small amount, and this will last you. I can understand why you're saying, you know, the sort of figures of like, you know, you'll do 100, potentially 100 prints with these. I can, I can understand when I, you know, watch the demo that you did earlier on. 60% uh, of the stock of the rose gold has gone. Uh, 6.47 or 7.30, and then lastly, uh, the copper is absolutely beautiful. Um, you'll see this, as I say, in much more detail in just a few moments' time when Gordon begins to use it. Um, 6.47 or 7.30 is the deal on that. So those are all still available, uh, but all proving very, very busy indeed. Now, uh, this is going to be fun because I've now got to find uh, all of the different... <laughs> oh, 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 no. These aren't in order. Who has been in here? Uh, no, no, hang on. No, 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 it's fine. I'm going to find it. Let me just... One more chance. One more chance. No, I haven't picked up the right one. <laughs> Let's have a look at the platform. <laughs> Do you know what's happened here is I reckon someone's come in, shuffled these all around. They were in order, Erin. I know they were. I know because <coughs> what happened was, as I say, I went to them wrong because I thought you'd gone bam, 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 but you'd gone bam, bam. So that's what's happened, you see. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, but let's have a look at the uh, Stampers Friend Pro stamping platform. Uh, this has been very, very popular indeed. Uh, £35.19 or $50.79. Already, we've had um, a lot of people saying that they love this bit of kit, that they use it every day, that it's changed You know how they go about doing their stamping. And, and I know, Gordon, you'll talk about this in more detail, but yeah. today you've shown us that this isn't just an implement that you're going to use to get better with your stamping, but yeah. you're going to use this in conjunction with your screen printing. Yeah. This also doubles up now as our screen printing tool. So this, we believe, is the strongest, the strongest uh, stamping platform in the world. We've been working over this for 12 months, all during lockdown, to perfect it and to solve every problem we know with every other platform. For example, having to press incredibly hard, hard then having to over stamp and press in different areas to get that perfect image, yeah. having to use different ink multiple times to get that perfect image. We have solved all of those problems with this platform because our platform is made of different types of material. And it's made of material that is then layered up and bonded together. Now, what we wanted was incredible strength and we've achieved it. So, for, you can see me press on, on this right now. I can press as hard as you like, and one thing that does not happen is the lid and the platform does not flex. Yeah. It stays like that. 
So therefore, when I'm pressing, I'm pressing evenly on every bit of the platform and I only have to press gently and I will get perfect results every time as long as you're using decent ink pads, of course, because that's also important. But there is no reason why anyone, and I mean anyone, whether you're young, whether you're old, there is no reason why anyone cannot do perfect stamping every time using the new platform. And that is why so many of you uh, have grabbed this already today and uh, popped it into your baskets. No, I am not stood over here trying to work out uh, the order <laughs> of these uh, crystals. Of course I'm not doing that at all. Uh, I tell you, no, I am. I'm actually doing that because they're all out of order and I want you to see them. Um, so whilst I'm just busily <laughs> trying to get these back into order, um, can we start on our first little demo? Of course we can. I shall, I shall waffle on if you like. Thank you. I'll give you the wave when I, when I finish. <laughs> He's playing for time. <laughs> <laughs> it's normally me that has to do that over this side now i'm asking gordon to do it i uh, can well, see <laughs> but yeah you go you carry on gordon i'll do this and it'll be right, like nothing so ever happened we're going to do lots of things this afternoon there's probably going to be a bit of mess not so much mess there's going to be a bit of noise because i'm using my uh, noisy heat gun because it's the fastest one i've got to melt the crystals and we got to show you the melting process because that's the important thing about the crystals watching them melt and seeing all the colors appear before your eyes so Let's start with the basics. This is the platform. Let's open it up. The platform has a full A4 size base. Uh -huh. uh, in the USA, you have letter size. Letter size, slightly smaller than A4, so it fits in there perfectly. Uh, we have four very strong magnets to hold everything together. We have this mat here. That's to raise everything up so that you can do your stamping with your clear stamps. We remove that to use our rubber stamps and we also remove it, as I'll show you in a little bit, to do our screen printing. Now okay. put that back on. One other thing that's special about the platform, supposing you're just wanting to hold something down to maybe do colouring or drawing or something like that, how about doing this? Turning it over because the back of the platform is fully padded and guess what? It's fully magnetic. So you can use the back of the platform for various things as well. And actually, you'll see me using the back of the platform uh, in a little while. I'm going to attempt to do uh, some screen printing on a cushion cover, and I'll show you how we use this to do that. So we'll turn it back over. Right, so first thing we're going to do, I'm going to use one of the biggest stamps that we produce, and it's on the show today, and it's this one here. It's the Winter Trees, I think we call this if my memory is correct. Okay. It, this yes. is a seven by seven stamp. So the seven by seven stamps will make the whole of a front of an eight by eight card for you. And we have quite a few of the seven by seven stamps on the show. So please have a look at them all. They're all deeply etched and very easy to use. So I'm going to take a piece of card. Okay. So we put that on the phone because we're using a clear stamp. And then we hold it down with the magnets in each corner like that. Now then, the tool also has all the measurements around the outside and they can be incredibly handy, trust me, when you're doing your stamping, especially if you're doing multiple stamping. Now, as I say, our clear stamps are incredibly deeply etched. They're as deeply etched <coughs> as any rubber stamp. And that means we can achieve the same detail that you can achieve with any rubber stamp in the way of a clear stamp. Uh -huh. Now. The other thing that I have been aware of for many years is that lots of people out there, lots of crafters, especially elderly crafters, you all have, a lot of you have problems with your wrists and your hands. And so doing this technique that lots of people do, all the pressing, a lot of people do find that difficult and, and sl slightly painful. A lot of people tell me that and a lot of people have told me they've had to give up stamping for that reason. Well. The new platform being as strong as it is, we think we can help you solve that problem. So I'm going to show you this. So we've got the big stamp there. I'm going to bring the lid over. But what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do any pressing today. I want to show those of you who do have that problem an easier way to use our platform. So I have a microfiber cloth here. Okay. I roll it into a ball like that, hold it in my hand, and simply rub over the lid like that, up and down, adding tiny tiny little bit of pressure just a little bit of pressure okay okay that forms an airtight seal with the stamp and up the stamp comes so i've got various ink pads here ready let me just open them up and we'll do some stamping remember you will you will only ever get good stamping results anyway 
if your ink pads are decent, if they're not, then, well, you know, you need to replace them really. So let's go and show you how, we, how easy it is to stamp, even with the biggest of stamp we have here. Let me just pull that down a wee bit. There we are. Right, so I'm going to take my first ink pad, this one here. Okay, let's just ink it up like that. Okay. So we'll start with the stamping because we are using a stamping platform, so why wouldn't I do some stamping for Exactly you? right. That just wouldn't make sense, for. really. <laughs> <laughs> so we've inked that one up. So what we're going to do now is this. Now, normally at this point, you bring it over. We know what you do with your hands and all that to get it going. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make it easier for you. So we bring that over like that. We take our little microfiber cloth again, holding it gently. Remember, we're not going to use any pressure. We're not going to put strain on our wrist and all that. All we're going to do is this. Okay, we're going to add tiny little pressure. Wow, a little rough. Move it that way. And then we're going to go up and down that way. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going in different directions like that. Maybe go all the way around the edge like that. And maybe end up just by doing that. Just rotating, rotating it slightly, but not, not using your lit wrist. You're only using the ball of your hand. You're only using the cloth, using a tiny bit of downward pressure. Okay, so we'll pick that one up like that. That's wow. our first one. We're going to go with the second one. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pat this one gently, yep. and then we're going with a third colour, and I don't want to cover the whole stamp. I'm trying to get a wonderful, like, multicoloured winter tree scene, if you like, okay. or an autumn tree scene, whatever. So, this time, all I'm doing is patting the tree gently, adding a light touch of the ink. I'm not using a heavy hand like maybe I did the last time. I just want to add a little hint of this colour. Let's take our little cloth again. Uh -huh. Okay, very gently up and down, across the way, maybe round and round like that. It's up to you. We're using very gentle pressure to do this, but we're pressing it all over the stamp. Let's pull that up again. That's our second stamp image. Okay. And we're going to go with the third one. We're now we're going to add green because, after all, they are trees. So let's go down and add a hint of green, like that. Again, I don't want to take away from all the colours that are there at the moment. Okay, let's go over again like that. Let's get our little cloth again, up and down. I hope you can see that usually with a stamping platform, you will feel and you will see it flexing. Oh, this yeah. platform is ultra strong. Yeah, yeah. It, no matter what you do, it does not flex. And because we're using light pressure, we don't have to use heavy pressure on the stamping platform. And that's the reason why everyone has a problem with stamping platforms and stamping, because the platforms are actually flexing. It's because of the materials they're made of. Uh, and that's what causes the big problem, I'm afraid. So let's do open that up. And Ooh, let's just take wow. this one off. Oop, let's move that. So we got the desired effect. We yeah. got the multi-coloured effect. You can see that there just by using uh, various That's ink That's really pads. clever. Yeah. See that? We've yeah. Got, so you can see the orange, you can see the green, you can see all the colours sh shining yeah. through. Yeah. But I just wanted to show you that even with the biggest of stamps, <coughs> using this platform is ultra simple. Yeah. By using very little pressure. Whether you use your hands, you can do that. Very little pressure required. Or you can use my technique using the cloth. If you have any problems, like I said, then do that. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you. So that gets that stamping out of the way. Uh, oh, we're going to come back to stamping again, actually. This time, we're now going to look at uh, a little bit of screen printing. Okay. And <clears throat> we're also going to start uh, using some of the crystals as well. Now, those of you who've seen screen printing haven't really, haven't probably not seen it done like this before. You've not seen it being done with a whizzy tool, and you've certainly never seen embossing crystals being used with screens. So we're going to do all that now. So what do we do? We remove the foam pad. We don't need that. We take our piece of card. I'm going to use a piece of card. Put that on the bottom like that. I'm going to put a screen on here. Let's put it on like that. Hey, you've used one of my faves, the robot's brilliant, love it. Yep, hold that in place using the magnets. Now, the only thing I got, I can see that I didn't clean that screen properly the last time. Just in a so I'm, just I'm hoping there's no in. gel ink embedded in the screen. I've just noticed that, so let's go and see how it goes. So, 
We're going to take the Wizzy tool yep. with the brush attachment like that. Remember that just clicks on, and if I do that, you can see it's twin speed. Yeah, we'll press it on a bit more, that's it. Twin speed, you can go at whatever speed you find is convenient to you. But basically, that's how it works, as uh -huh. simple as that. So, what colours are we going to use? Let me have a look. I think I'm going to use two colours for this. I'm going to go with the gold, yep. and I think I'm going to go with the copper. copper. Now, the easiest way to do it, if you have the various brushes, you can use... Uh, a different brush for each colour, that's great. Or you can just dip it out the pot. And I find with the gel inks, actually, even if you dip in and out the different colours, they don't really get contaminated. The, that doesn't happen with gel inks, so don't worry about it, just have fun. So I'm going to take this colour here. All I do is tap it like that with the brush. Uh -huh. You will see I've hardly picked up any gel ink, okay? There's not huge amounts of gel inks going everywhere. So what we're going to do, Let's start it spinning around like that. So the idea is, the tool is doing all the work, it's spinning round. All we're doing is using a little bit of downward pressure. If you want to, pick up a little bit more gel ink. Have you got that on the low setting, Gordon? Um, I think I've got it, I prefer doing it on number two. On number two? Yeah, it's a personal, I know when Justin does it, he does it on the lower setting. Yeah. Now, as you're doing this, you're adding a tiny bit of downward pressure at the same time, but you're letting the tool do all the work. The tool is spinning round doing everything. Again, we're not trying to kill ourselves by pressing down hard, but remember the motor in the tool is a very high torque. The motor will not stop anyway, it will keep going. Yeah. So there's a little bit of gold. Now I'm going to be naughty, and instead of swapping the brushes, I'm just gonna dip into this. Whoa, but okay. honestly, I've been doing this for three years, it doesn't do any harm and it doesn't really contaminate it. So, see, there we had the gold. There's no, no hint of a gold in there. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Now, this time, I'm going to finish it by filling in the blanks and going over the whole thing. Okay. So, I'm taking my whizzy tool. It's whizzing away. Remember, I'm only adding very, very slight downward pressure. Just keep going. I'll take a little bit more gel ink. Season wet. You, can, you can see there is no excess gel ink. I have not got a puddle or a pool of gel ink. Yep. I've got no gel ink on there. I'm going to have to scrape off and try and get back in the pot like you normally do when you're using a spreader tool. Oh my God, when you use a spreader tool, it can be incredibly messy. And, and I can fully understand why people say, oh, I'm not sure I want to do screen printing. It's so messy, so difficult. But at the same time, we all love the results because the screens are made up of thousands of micro holes. The detail we can get from a screen will never ever be obtained by stamping. You just, it's just not possible. So that's the beauty of a screen, and we have made it as least pe uh, messy as it's possible to do. Now, yeah. I'll stop there. So what do we do now? I've got a little tiny bucket here of water. I'm going to take the head of the brush. That goes straight into the water, yep. out of the way. Get my gel inks out of the way. Take my, oh, take my magnets out of the way, like that. Now, you pull the screen off and the screen goes right into your little, I've got a little A4 thing here full of water. You pop the screen in straight away and as soon as you put it in, the gel ink start to fall off. That's then you can go back so and clean cool. it later on. Let's just take the screen off here properly. Let's get the magnets. Where are we? There we are, like that. Let me hold that up like that. Okay. See the detail there? Uh, yeah, here we go. see the shimmer from the gel ink. Can yeah. you see them shining? And you can, you can clearly see the, the gold. You can see the copper because the colours stay exactly where you want them to go. Yeah. Okay, that's one good thing about that. Yeah, see that? So that's how we do uh, spin printing using the Wizzy tool. Yeah. Incredibly easy. So let's move on to the next thing now. Is it okay if I keep going? Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah. Oh, I tell you what, yep. we'll let, we'll, yeah, we're going to do a couple of mentions. Yep. I can get ready for the next one. Then get one. ready yep. for the next one. Yep. Yeah, That's next great. thing. Um, there's so many comments coming through as well. I just wanted to touch on Susan Ware is saying, ooh, I love the Wizzy tool. It's available on the show today. Uh, Bubble and Squeak saying the platform, great size. Uh, I like the nice large platform, says Susan. I just ordered the uh, 8 by 8 early this week. Um, and Gilmer says, I love it when Gordon says he's going to attempt to do something. It's like a magic act. That's why we call him the great Gordini. Yeah. Uh, he is about to perform. His demos are amazing. Suzette C says, I've got that stamping platform. Um, and lots of you ooing and ahhing as well about the deliciousness, um, as Mary Pat says, um, of the, uh, the copper 
uh, gels or the different gel inks that we've got as well. Uh, and Patty just says, I love the size of the Be Creative stamping platform. It works perfect for the large slimline stamps. Uh, so happy I ordered it about a month or so ago. Uh, the Wizzy Tool starter set is here. Um, as we said, the thing that you won't find on the site now is the replacement brush heads. Those have sold out, but you can get the Wizzy Tool itself. So if you like Susan, you're ooing and ahhing at it and going, oh, I quite like that. Uh, you can grab it. Uh, it requires two AA batteries to uh, use, but you will also uh, get in there as well um, your um, your attachment. And uh, like we've seen, you know, great for using with your paints, your inks, um, uh, your sanding as well. Uh, and you've got those two different speeds on there too. So if you're going to be doing any of the demos that uh, Gordon is showing you today, this you need. That's something. It's important to add that all the things you get with a Wizzy tool are reusable time after yep. time. So the brushes are fully washable. The blending thing, which is uh, a latex sponge, fully washable. In all, over the years we've been doing this, we have never destroyed a brush or one of the blenders. And the sanders are as tough as old boot. Tell you what, while you've got me on the screen there, just quickly, look at this. We talked about the torque of the motor, which makes it incredibly strong. There's one of the sanding discs. I'm going to pop that on here. And I just happen to have here a piece of MDF. Let me get my platform. And then uh, we'll go back to you after this. No, <laughs> what, far away. I just want to show people this. Here is my, where are we? There we are. A piece of MDF, sanding disc on the end of this. Watch this. Watch how good this is. So I'm going to get straight into this. Can you hear that? Wow, you can hear it, yeah. I am pressing that incredibly hard. I'm really getting into it, really, really sanding that, really pressing as hard as I can. And guess what? It keeps going and going and going. The beauty of the Wizzy tool is the torque of the motor. We can do things like that. And even the sanding discs are hard wearing. They will last a long time. It is it's a fantastic tool. Yeah. It, it really is. And for that price today, £14 and change, $20.87 if you're platinum, um, it's definitely something uh, which I think is potentially going to make your life easier. Uh, quick little flick through everything else that we've got. As I say, it's going to be quick um, shows from me because there is so much on the show today. Um, so you've got your 7x7 seven seven flourishes um, uh, background. Uh, so these £7.99 or $11.59 if you are a uh, platinum member. Uh, then if you want to be to create stripes like here you've got your um your grunge stamp again how super useful is that seven pounds 99 or 11.59 uh next up um a nice set here of useful sayings so things that you'll be using a lot things like thinking of you you've got happy birthday congratulations uh best wishes and thank you all of these the same price you can see at the bottom of the screen next up how cute um, is that gorgeous little card there absolutely beautifully uh, and using the um different stamps that you've got there 11 in total uh, to be able to create uh, these beautiful cards so that one is make a wish 11 stamps uh, for 7.99 or 11.59 then um, what about the gorgeous florals the poppies there absolutely stunning uh, that is one background stamp that you've got there but look at that it's like a piece of artwork isn't it you're adding your colors into there uh, to create something so beautiful I could just imagine you um, coloring that using your watercolors uh, potentially and uh, framing that on your walls at home and then the one that you saw just a few moments moments ago uh, this time done uh, with a bit of glitter look at that woo amazing uh, 7.99 or 11.59 50 percent of the stock has sold through uh, of the uh, winter trees uh, there are more stamps available for you as well as I say you can see the full list of uh, what is there on our shop the show page there's tons honestly it's like the biggest collection I've seen um, and it's so so exciting that you can get your hands on all of these goodies now um, we're going to have a look at the embossing crystals and as I go through these so I'll pick these up and give them a little bit of a wiggle so you can see the different uh, colors that you're going to get uh, and we'll get a sound bite from um, Gordon as well so we're going to start with the um, the platinum these are uh, uh, £2.87 or £3.99 uh, if you are a platinum member. So, um, I mean, you can see for yourself straight off the bat here, Gordon, how these yep. are very, very different. But talk to us yep. about these embossing crystals. They are incredibly thick. They're not embossing powders, they are crystals. And each pot, if you like, is a pot of magic. It's only when you add the heat that you see what's going to happen. And every time you use them, it will be different because the pots have all sorts of things in there that you don't know are there. It's only when the heat's applied that it all comes before your eyes. That's the beauty of them. That's the magic of them. And it's the heating up of them. When you do that, you suddenly go, oh, wow, look at this. You didn't realize that was there. Now, the ones that samples were showing you now, every one of those has been done with a single layer. You can build the crystals up in layers bit by bit 
And when you build them up, actually, you will start to get a different look. Yeah. The deeper you build them, if you want to then stamp into them and get a really deep image in them, that can be fantastic as well. Now, the crystals, in conjunction with the wonder sheets and the wonder tape that we have, which are heat resistant and weatherproof, if you use it with them, the crystals can then be put onto anything, anything you want, including things outdoor, because they then become weatherproof. Oh, so wow. the, whatever you want to put them onto, I recommend you, if you want to do something outdoor, you use the wonder sheets, which are super tack, and then the crystals, and you can put them onto anything. I mean, again, you can just get a bit of an idea here of the uh, different colours that you're going to get. And yeah. like, I know you can see that, like the textured effect that you receive with these as well. They're phenomenal. And, yeah. and I would imagine, again, I mean, obviously, um, you know, small jars, as it were, but you don't need a lot to create these effects, Gordon, do you? No, that's the beauty of them as well. A tiny, tiny little bit. You'll be amazed how far it goes. Uh, even a tiny little bit would do a whole A4 page if you want to make a background. Now, the other thing we showed you earlier on, our crystals are flexible. Yes. You can put them on, you can virtually roll up that piece of card with the crystals and they will not crack. The other good thing is, when you've done your crystals and heat embossed them, they are wonderful. If it's a single layer, they will die cut perfectly as well. Um, we are just um, oh, and you can and you oh. can embroider into them. You can oh, wow. embroider into the crystals or hand embroider because they're flexible. They don't crack. We've actually we gave them to uh, one of the largest uh, sewing machine manufacturers in the UK who was doing a show. They had their big oh, multi-thousand multi pound embroidery machine. We said, would you like to have a go? And um, I don't know if you've got one of the samples over there or not. I think we. I think I can see it on the shelf. I might run and pass it to you. Go on. Hold I'm, on. I'm, I'm, I'm flicking run over. these back and forth. I'm running over as fast as I go can. On. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to throw this to you because I don't want to take you away from the camera. There we go. Have a look at that. Now that has been done with the crystals and embroidered over the top of them. Wow. Okay. The crystals go onto fabric in the most amazing way. And you can machine embroider over them with any sewing machine and get amazing results. Even we've done things that are even more intricate than that. Or you can sew through them, hand embroider them. You can do anything with the crystals. I mean, seriously, I mean, look at that, phenomenal. I, there's so many different colours as well. I just want to show yeah. you the final two that we've got here. This one is the um, Cressida. <coughs> um, again, all of these at 287 or... 3.99 and then lastly is the uh, forest forest phobos forest phobos phobos it's a planetary moon ah yeah. do you know the one i showed you two previously um I th I, it reminds me of a doctor who uh, planet ganymede Ganymede. Ganymede. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a planet. That's, that's another planetary moon. <laughs> yeah. We had a lot of fun naming these. <laughs> so. I've had, I've had a lot of fun trying to... Well, I didn't have to pronounce them, thankfully. I just uh, had producer Erin in my ear going, Gainy me, Gainy me, Gainy me, for, for us. I, thankfully, I've gotten in order now, so I just picked up the one there that was nearest to me. Uh, 287 or 399. Do you know what I love about this as well? Even if you've never tried these before, uh, at this sort of price, it doesn't... I mean, literally just grab a couple, put them in your basket uh, and check them out because... Uh, th these really are try me prices for things that you will come back to uh, and use time and time and time again with the explanation of the kind of ways that you can use them and on all the different materials you can use them on as well. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Kerry saying, please show us the uh, embossing crystal colours. We did. Uh, Bubble and Squeak says, Ben, you are simply <laughs> the best at your job. Thank you. Do you notice what I do, you see, is I show you, but then I, I pass the buck over to Gordon, who obviously knows. So I, all I have to do is do that. Gordon says all of them, and I don't have to do very much, and it makes me look skills. And I've got my producer telling me which one to pick up. I literally don't do very much, really. Every, everyone speaks for me, tells me what's to do. I mean, I'm telling you my secrets because I love you, and I, you, know, you, you, you guys need to know. Uh, I'm not as good as all that, uh, but thank you. Uh, the uh, Stampers Fred Pro stamping platform. Again, there's been a lot of interest in this today. There really, really has. And, you know, so many people uh, have said how these stamping platforms has, have changed their lives as far as stamping is concerned. Um, and certainly, Gordon, um, I just saw a few comments coming through earlier on. Uh, people very interested to see the way that once you um, shut the lid down, that you weren't having to really get in there and push. You were just lightly rubbing with that cloth. And I think that's a difference that's maker. It took us so long. Even our previous stamping platforms, as good as they were, 
we had the slightly the same problem as every other stamping platform. And for the life of me, we couldn't work it out. And it turned out that we cannot make these platforms out of plastic. Plastic bends. Unless you go incredibly thick with plastic, it bends with the pressure you're trying to put on it. And we couldn't do it. And we, we created a nightmare for our manufacturer, I'll be perfectly honest, especially during lockdown, yeah. which was even worse. But I was determined, what was the point of making another platform that we knew was going to do everything our previous one did and, and everything that every other platforms do? There was no point unless we could solve the problem. Yeah. And with this platform, I think we've solved every problem. Oh, you certainly have. And, and as I've said, the, the amount of people who are saying that they absolutely love this um, yeah. is off the chart today. Loads of people chatting about the... Um, the crystals as well. I know a lot of those will be selling during this show. Um, and Mary Patsy says, wow, embroidering with the crystals. That is amazing. And just a few more ideas yeah. for you here um, as well. Bubble and Squeak saying, OMG, gorgeous. Uh, keep the comments coming through. If there's anything that you want to ask Gordon about any of the products on this show, uh, get them in. He's here for half an hour now and then an hour later on at 7 o'clock this evening, uh, 2 o'clock Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, you can get social with us on the, uh, on the Facebook, on Facebook, on the Facebook. All right, Grandad, uh, on Facebook or on um, YouTube. Right, uh, we're going to go back over to uh, Gordon. What can you show us next? Okay, just one other thing. But when we're on about the crystals, the other thing is, as we know, we can melt them onto fabric we can embroider them they're also machine washable on yep. a cool wash so that's one other thing to point out so this time we've just done some stamping to show you how easy this is uh, we've just done some screen printing to show you how easy it is so this time what we're going to do because I told you earlier on that the gel inks could also be used for stamping so that's what we're going to do next. Okey -dokey. so we'll open up our platform again this time we're going to put the sponge pad back because we're going to be using some clear stamps. I think I'm going to use a black piece of card. We'll put that on there. Okay. We'll put our magnets on to hold everything together. Now then, we have actually got an A4 set of stamps on we the have. show, which is the, the one, the steampunk with yep. the, I think it's called Angelic Steampunk. I it is know. called Angelic Do you Steampunk. Know, I, I, we name all these and then I can never remember the names. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's called that. It is definitely Angelic so Steampunk. I can put it there. There we are. It's the, see all the wings and the cogs and all that? Yeah. Well, we're going to use that now. We're going to use some elements from this. Okay. I think you've got the full set there, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Right, that's good. <laughs> Is it called that? Yeah, Angelic Steampunk. The Angelic Steampunk, oh, yes. Let your go. dreams take flight. Yeah, I knew it was uh, something like details that. Details on the bottom of your screen there for you. So I'm going to place the elements on here again. So we've got the main thing. Uh, we'll put a couple of wings on, I think. Okay, oh, like wow. This. Oh, this, is a, this, is a, this is a wonderful stamp you're I have to building up your little mannequin, I like that. Yeah, it really is wonderful. What else am I going to put on here? Um, I think we'll have a, a, I think that's a clock there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a light bulb on there. It's a proper steampunk, steampunk set. <laughs> I love I the cogs on the... I can't even the, say uh, the word. <laughs> the, the cogs are brilliant. Look where the cogs are placed on that dress. I think that's yeah. brilliant. Now, Remember what we said earlier on, you can press with your hands if you want to, but if you're not that way disposed, if you have a problem at all, do it like this. Bring over the lid like that, take a little cloth, I like to use uh, one of these microfiber cloths. The other good thing is when you're doing this incidentally, you're cleaning the lid at the same time as you're picking up the stamps. Um, uh, I love doing this because it's so easy. Yeah. And, you know, I just so easy a couple of quick questions so um, yep. someone was asking I think Amy was asking whether or not the measurements are on the lid or the actual base of the platform uh, they're actually around the edge of the base yep. so if we put them on the lid it might cause a yeah. problem because you might not see um, it's far better being around the edge yes and Bubble and Squeak asking um, is it heavy I mean no no I mean no I mean, very honestly, light. they are one-handed. How's that? Yeah, me too. Well, hey, look at us go. Whoa. <laughs> no, it's very, very lightweight. It's not heavy at all. No. no. So again, you're probably asking that because I told you how strong the tool is. But remember what I said to you? If we didn't make this tool the way we have made it, we'd have to make it so thick with thick plastic to, to make it as strong as this. And then it would be heavy and there'd be no point doing that because even I wouldn't be able to lift it. So no, the answer to your question is it's definitely not heavy. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I think we picked up our stamps, didn't we? There yep. we go. 
So they're all on the lid now, but uh, let me move this down a little bit. There we are. So this time, we're not using ink pads. So we're going to do something uh, different, something you may never have seen before. Mm. Now, remember what we said about the screens. As soon as you're finished, you pop them into water and the gel inks start to fall off straight away. You don't need to clean them straight away. As long as they're in water, you can go back later and clean them properly. The same applies to the stamps. The stamps go into the water. Do not let the gel inks dry in in the stamps. That's important. So okay. we're going to take a couple of colours. I'm trying to think what I'm going to use here. I'm going to use silver. Uh -huh. And then I think I'm going to use the rose gold. Now, we're going to do my technique like I did before. We're going to dip in and out, but we're only going to apply one color at a time. We'll use the cloth technique as well to press down. Now, this time, we again, we only touch the gel inks and we skim, literally, literally only skim over the top of the stamps. Watch how I do this. I'm adding, actually adding no pressure. Uh -huh. I'm letting the tool skim over the top because when we're doing the stamps, we use even less gel ink than we use when we're doing the screen. So let's dip into the silver first Just to of say, all. if you want the silver, we've got one left. Have you? Oh. Well, yep, one left and it's gone. So next person okay. to check that out, it so will disappear. I've dipped into the silver, picked up a tiny bit of silver. I'm only going to use it on the first setting this time. Now, I'm only, basically, can you see what I'm doing? I'm letting the tool, I'm just guiding it gently, I'm adding virtually no pressure, and the tool is literally skimming over the stamp. That's all it's doing. A tiny bit more gel ink. Yeah. It's literally just touching the stamp and no more. I do not have to press it down. Okay, you just don't have to do that when you're doing this. Literally skimming over the top of the stamp. I've got it on the first setting. I'm not adding any pressure. I'm holding the tool very gently, letting the tool do the work. This is so, so simple to do. Silver ink has disappeared. It's sold out. Also, just to let you know, the winter tree uh, 7x7 okay. stamp that Gordon was using a few moments ago, sold out. So be quick. Things Bring are disappearing over, before your like very that. eyes. So we've got the silver gel ink. Let's do our little technique with the cloth again. Okay, remember what we said, just roll it into a ball, go up and down, go side to side, use a tiny little bit of pressure, finish off by going round and round like that. Yeah, as I said, the good thing is you're cleaning your stamping tool as you're doing it. <laughs> yes. So not a bad technique actually, but this is to help all of you who find doing the pressing technique yeah. uh, too difficult. So let's open that up. Hold on, the gel ink is sticky, so let's do that. Gently pull that up. There we are. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> I forgot the gel ink was sticky when you go on stamps, right? So what we're going to do now, we're now going to go a second time and we're going to use this colour. This is the rose gold. Okay. Also so very again, popular. let it spin gently. Okay. Let it skim over the stamp. I might use three colours, I'm not quite sure. You can but see remember, as well, like I'm just saying, I'm on my um, my other screen there, you can see actually how little you are putting as far as the pressure is, is yeah. concerned. This this is a totally different look uh, to using an ink pad. It is completely different. Yeah, and um, if look you want, how little pressure you're putting on. We can really yeah. see that now. So if you want to do something a bit different from what you normally do, yeah. and as if you're buying the gel inks anyway for doing the screens, then uh, give this a go. It, is, it can be really, really interesting. One of the rose golds left now, by the way. These are flying. Next oh, person okay. to check out the rose gold and it will be sold out. You're all going too quickly. I'm not finished. <laughs> so, slow stop. down. Hurry up. Stop, stop buying oh, my jelly. You're going crazy for them. <laughs> so again, let's just press like that. Okay, up and down, round about, blah, blah, blah. Using the cloth technique. So, so easy to use. You don't have to press hard at all. No. Remember, it's very gently. Okay, let's, oh remember, I know it's going to stick, the gel inks are going to be a little bit sticky. Let's pull that Ooh. up like that. Now, I'm going to take my stamps off straight into the water, okay? As long as you put it straight into the water, they will stay moist. The gel ink actually will start falling off straight away. Yeah. And I can go back and clean them in a bit. Now, we've done that. I think you can see that quite clearly there. Yeah, absolutely. You've got that wonderful metallic gel ink look. Yeah. Yeah, see that? Uh, quite incredible. But we're not finished, are oh, we? No, no, we're not. What are we going to do? Eh? What are we going to do? Can you add another layer? 
No. Oh, what are you going to do? Crystals. Oh, cri of course, <laughs> crystals. I've forgotten about the crystals. Oh, I was just seeing if you're paying attention. Well, I thought you said a minute ago you were going to add another layer. We take that away. I was thinking about it, actually. Yeah, you yeah. are. I did say I might, but I'm not yeah. going to. Call change my out. mind. Change my mind. So what are we going to do? Um, right, let's have fun with the crystals. What are we going to do? I'm going to take this one, travertine gold. Let's see what happens. So I think actually I might just use one. The travertine gold is so beautiful. It has so many different colours and things in it. Yeah. And remember, the gel inks are a fantastic medium for embossing. And just worth Absolutely. bearing in mind there, you've put a lot on your cardstock there, but look how much goes back in. Oh, pretty, no, the whole pretty much lot, all of virtually, it. Virtually the whole lot goes yeah. back in. Yeah. I'll put that on there like that. Let's just get rid of the excess. I'm going to get I'm going to go home twinkling tonight. <laughs> now then, if I hope first of the thing you can see there, I didn't want to cover the whole thing in gel inks uh, uh, in crystals. I only wanted a hint of them. Mm -hmm. So you can still see the gel ink shining through and can you see the crystal sitting on part of it? So let me get my heat gun. Now at this point it's going to get noisy because this is a noisy heat gun but it won't take long. It's quite a powerful heat gun. Yeah, and again, you can see the magic happen just right here. Um, I mean, seriously, this is just phenomenal to watch, isn't it? The gel inks are brilliant. Just a, a warning there for you, as we said, um, the rose gold is about to disappear. It's about to go the same way as the silver. You've got a lovely selection uh, of those embossing crystals available for you as well, but get those quickly, because I think, you know, the more we see these demos, the more people are sort of going, oh, wow, I love this. I've got to get some of these in my life. And particularly for those crystals, when you're looking at a price tag of, well, it's under three pounds if you're platinum. Um, if you're a platinum shopper in the US, uh, it's under $4 there as well, isn't it? So, you know, really, really inexpensive. You've got to give these a go, honestly. Um, loving that steampunk set, says Mary Pat 1000. Uh, love this stamp set, says Pammy. It is available on the website uh, right now. 39 stamps in total. You'll find that if you shop the day page, you'll see those stamps right there. But you've got the wings in there, you've got the mannequin, the light bulb, the clock, all of the different cogs in there. Um, you've got the aspects of your compass as well. And then you've got uh, beautiful sayings like, let your dreams take flight and time flies. It's the bottom of your screen right now. £17.99, $25.99, less your club inspired discount. And now is another good uh, excuse to remind you that whilst you're on the website, check out the memorial day uh, page where you'll find savings of up to 75 percent and uh, starting tomorrow we begin our jubilee celebrations if you're not yet a club inspire member then uh, make sure you get signed up details there at the bottom of your screen of the memorial day sale ends midnight tonight wherever you are uh, from tomorrow we begin to celebrate the jubilee get signed up to club inspire if you're not yet a member and receive five pounds five dollars or five euros into your account to get you started uh, it is going to be awesome just a quick question from Rhonda whilst you were um, drying there as it were she says yeah. how quickly did the gel inks dry Gordon sorry how quickly did the gel inks dry um, they're fairly quick um, but they might they might take like three four minutes maybe five minutes okay. pe depending on the thickness of them so they're fairly quick but as long as you do what I did there if you want to do the embossing then I did it straight away that's that's wonderful so uh, but they do dry quick now let, I've told them I'm just going to turn this around like that and hold it up yeah and that's I want you to see can cool you effect. see you can see all the gel inks and you can see all the crystals yeah. on top, but the crystals, are, I've only put some on, uh, they've not covered the whole thing of the gel inks. So the beauty of it is you get this wonderful 3D distressed look and it's just magical really. So look, you're getting all the sparkle and twinkle yeah. of the crystals and then you're getting all the detail, uh, sorry, sparkle and twinkle of the gel inks and then you're getting the crystal. I mean, look at that. That is a, a proper distressed image, I would call it. It's just wonderful. So if you want to do something a bit different, and this is with the gel inks, and remember, you can even do this <coughs> onto a T-shirt or something like that. Now, the gel inks onto fabric, if you're just using the gel inks, uh, you let them dry on the fabric, then you turn the fabric over, and you heat set it with a dry iron. And if you heat set the gel ink from the reverse with a dry iron, they then become machine washable at, uh, I think, around about 30 to 30, 40 degrees, yeah. that's all. If you use the gel inks and then you put the crystals on, yes. you don't use a dry iron, don't do that. Um, but what you can do 
Certain types of fabric are then machine washable with the crystals on them on a cold wash only if you want to do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, everything covered off really. It's such a busy show. Uh, I, I literally can't believe we're, we're seeing uh, items sell out. Items already sold out before we brought to the show as well. The gel inks, right, across the board getting limited. I think we've still got one opportunity left to get the rose gold. Uh, the rest of the colors, your gold, your bronze, and your copper uh, also well, going the same sort of way. Whatever you've got in your baskets right now, uh, make sure you get to the checkout and get checking out because we are super, super busy. We'll come back with uh, some more from Gordon and we've also got to do the vote for the demo of the show, don't forget. We will be back with you in two minutes time. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafty must-haves in a flash. Make light work of intricate and delicate die-cutting designs with the Pokey Tool from Crafter's Companion. An absolute essential part of any paper crafter's kit, its precise tip has been designed to release the tiniest pieces to reveal your finished results with absolute precision. And to make sure your finished project is perfect, each Pokey Tool has a rubber tip protector, so there's no risk of damaging your die-cutting design or yourself. The Crafter's Companion Pokey Tool is such an essential craft item, we've included two in each set. Quick buy, get yours now. Uh, welcome back, we were just lining up the votes for the, de the demo of the show, and um, Gordon's robots had ran off. That's a sentence I thought I'd never say. Let's just quickly get the vote going and then we'll um, do some final uh, demonstrations with Gordon. So, uh, you'll have three to choose from here. So you can vote for uh, card, and card number one, which is uh, Corin's card from the Craftalog a little bit earlier on. Uh, and then you've got uh, these two. Uh, so you could go for um, our robots, which you saw with Gordon a little bit earlier on. That's number two. I really like as well how gorgeous is the um, the steampunk uh, mannequin there. We're using the gel inks and those crystals as well. So that's number three. So one, two or three. Uh, we'll give you five minutes to get your votes in on those. And then uh, we'll come back and announce the uh, winner of that in just a few moments time. Now I have just had a thrust into my hand. Uh, the Wonder Sheets. Uh, Super Tac 20 piece Wonder Sheets. They are wonderful, Erin. Uh, You're going to get uh, 20 sheets. So far... Uh, yeah, 20 sheets, five of each, four packs, 8.39 or 12.39. Um, Gordon, chat to me about these. Why do we need the Wonder Sheets? The Wonder Sheets and the Wonder Tape are super tack. They are super adhesive. They will go on to anything, and trust me, when they go on, they will not come off. <laughs> they are weather resistant. They will go through heat, uh, extreme cold, everything. So if you're putting them on, let's say, a plant pot outside, as long as your plant pot is, uh, you know, sanded etc and the sheets are stuck on properly you can then put the crystals all the way on your plant pot you can heat emboss them and we have done that experiment and we actually left a piece of delicate glass outside that we had done exactly that to we left it out for two years through snow and every type of weather oh. and it was perfect at the end of it so wonderful yep. wow uh, well, there you go. Um, you're going to get 20 sheets in total if you go for that pack, $8.39 or $12.39 uh, if you're a Platinum member. Are you going to use these in your next demo? Um, I'm using it in the next demo, yeah. All right, we'll crack on then. We've got 12 <laughs> minutes left. Here we go. Right, well, now the next demo is one that my partner 
uh, Justin normally does. Uh -huh. And before I came up here, he said, oh, you must do that. I said, how do I do it? So he's given me his instructions, and I hope I've remembered them properly. <laughs> so what do we have here? We have a plastic stencil, just a, a, an ordinary stencil. You've all got these stencils. And I have a piece of the wonder sheet. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to take our stencil here, and I'm going to take a Versamark ink pad, right? And what I'm going to do, the wonder sheets, I'm going to peel off one side like that. Take that piece off. Okay. And we're now looking at the adhesive side I've just peeled off. The other side, if you peel off, it's got adhesive on the other side as well. So that there is incredibly sticky, tacky. Yeah, super adhesive. Yeah. So I'm going to put my stencil on there, but before I do, I've got to coat my stencil with a Versamark ink pad because if I don't do this, guess what's going to happen? So it they're double-sided, aren't they? They are double-sided, yes. the sheets. Yes, they are. Now, I'm putting Versamark on here in the hope that I'm going to put my stencil on here and I can get the stencil back off again. Yep. If I don't do this, there is no chance that stencil's coming off. And then, uh, yeah. then, and then Justin, uh, Justin will be on the phone. He won't saying, be on the phone. When I go home tonight, he'll be mad. All oh, right. <laughs> so, forget, forget the phone. <laughs> He's been very quiet since the hello earlier on because you did say he might be chipping in a little bit more. But um, you're obviously yeah. doing a great. Well, you are doing a great job. But um, I've yeah. heard nothing more from him yet. So, <laughs> so, so there's our. Um, which side did I put it on? There we are. Here's our super tech. Now what I'm going to do? I'll put that on there like that yeah press it on like that now then have i done that right i think i have maybe not but maybe we'll see what i'm going to do now i'm going to take the crystals a couple yep. of colors i've got a funny feeling i've done something slightly wrong but well, don't we'll worry about out. it because it's still going to we're still going to see what i'm trying to do so the stencil is now on to the wonder sheets. We're now going to go with various colours. I think I was supposed to protect the border before I did this, oh, okay. the bit around the edge. Let's not worry about the border, okay? Justin, if you're watching, do let us know. Yeah, he will be back again to do it properly soon. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do, yeah. I'm going to, going to go on with the crystals like this. Which colour is the... Uh, this yeah, one yeah. is ancient bronze. ancient bronze. Now, I haven't chosen these colours for any particular reason, by the way. No. I'm having fun with colours, yeah? Uh -huh. I'm now using some weathered chrome. Okay. By the way, the rose gold gel ink has sold out. Rose gold gel ink has now sold out. Really, really busy for all of these. And I'm going to finish up with some silver garden. And do you know when you, when you were doing it like this, so obviously you'll have all the leftovers. Do you have like a separate pot that you put your... Yeah, we do, where we into? put all the mixed colours in. So you have yeah, more we colours, aren't you? Yeah, we do that. And we've, we actually form new colours. And sometimes they're that good. We think, oh my God, we have to make them. How did we do that? Yeah. That happens as well. What's that colour you've got there, did you say? This one is Silver Garden, a beautiful colour. Silver Garden. Yeah, very nice. Now then, okay, I've done that. I'm just going to I'm just going to empty this into the pot I've got down here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. Into the pot. Yep. Into my pot they go. <laughs> so, uh, right. Big pot. Let's take that off there like that. Now then, what I'm going to do now? I'm going to release the stencil, hopefully. There. Uh, like that. Okey And like that. And like that. Yes. Yep. We'll put that on there, keep it out of the way. So now we're going to be very noisy again, I'm afraid. That's all right. Yeah. Actually, I think, what does he do this? Sorry, I'm thinking on the go here. Um, you see the blank bits there? What he does now, I think, he takes an ordinary embossing powder, right? Right. I have a black one here. It's an ordinary embossing powder. I know at this point he doesn't go back to the crystals. He will take an ordinary embossing powder, like I've got here, a black. The idea is now to fill in all the blanks. Can you okay. see them there? Yeah. Let's see, if we, let's see if this works. I love this. A bit of crafty improv. I hope it works. If it doesn't, we're just going to end up with an incredible mess. And then we can just go back and look at all the lovely things I did earlier. <laughs> so. Well, the thing is, both you and Corin taking risks today, because Corin had never used the rocker blocks before live on air. So, well, uh, isn't that what crafting is all about, that's really? That's it, isn't it? 
Have a bit of fun. It, it is about What's having fun. What's the worst fun? that can happen? You we all, we all make mistakes. Trust me, we all make mistakes. Yeah. Okay, let's do that there. Oh, no, this is looking perfect. Oh, this is actually not too bad. I'm sure I haven't done it properly. I, I'm quite sure I've missed something. But, but you could just trim the edges, couldn't you? Yeah, let's not worry about it. No. So, now the magic begins. This is going to be noisy. You can talk to people if you want. This is going to take a few minutes. Well, that's all right. Well, uh, whilst we're watching... Uh, Gordon, let me tell you, the Wizzy Tool uh, is whizzing out of here. See what I did there? Uh, a, qu a quarter of the stock of the Wizzy Tool has disappeared. So that's proving really popular. Um, it's a great little tool to have, honestly. I mean, you can blend with it, ink with it, sand with it, as you saw with Gordon as well. Uh, you get the, um, the heads on there too, so the interchangeable heads, which are going to last. Uh, and of course, it's battery operated as well. Uh, but I think, as you'll find, it's going to last a long time on your two AA batteries. Um, which you can uh, obviously get to go along with that. So that's proving very, very popular. Uh, many of those screens as well, uh, if you like the Believe, which is the unicorn screen, next person to check that out, that disappears, it will be sold out. Uh, the Delightful Roses, next person to check that out, that disappears. Uh, the uh, Zebra Camouflage, Zebra Camouflage, uh, next person to check that out, that disappears. Um, but Born to Rock, Rock, uh, we've only got two more. Two, two more of those, and then that will disappear. Uh, Rolf the raccoon, uh, two more of the uh, raccoons, and uh, Rolf will be out of here. Uh, so please, 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 if you've got your eye on any of those, make sure you check them out. We've got five minutes left. I can tell you the winner of demo of the show, um, thing is, I'll do it because he probably, Gordon probably can't hear me over there because that's such a loud tool, so I don't want to upset him. Number one's one, number one, which was Corin's card, the craft along card. Uh, he definitely can't hear me. So that will go up on the uh, Crafty Walk of Fame um, with Corrin's win from earlier on. So thank you for all your votes on that one. Um, we will pop that up onto the... Um Pop that up onto the uh, the Crafty Walk of Fame. You definitely, definitely can't hear me. The, uh, to be honest with you, though, this one, this one should have, I think, potentially gone up. But we've, we've run out of time on the show. We've only got four minutes left. Um, the great thing is, though... I'll just give him a quick shout. He definitely can't hear me. We've got four minutes left, Gordon. Four minutes. We're getting there. We're getting He's there. getting there. He's getting yeah, there. Yeah, we'll be all right. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right, Shug, because I know you can't hear me. Uh, yep. Yeah. So, uh, Gordon. Oh, he's finished. He's done. We'll be back with this later on, though, as well. We'll be back with this later on. Right. Now, then, let me hold that up. Oh. Oh. Can you see what we have done? And we filled in the blanks with the embossing yeah. powder. It worked. Now, what we do now, we trim that off, we peel off the backing, and you can now mount that onto another piece of card, so it'll have a little border around it. And that is your, basically, would be the front of your 8x8 card. Look, see how it shimmers and shines? So that's how we use any plastic or metal stencil. Make sure you use your Versamark ink first, or you're never going to get your stencil off, because this really is... Super tack these wonder sheets. So that is another wonderful way for using all your stencils with the crystals onto the wonder sheets. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. And if you are wondering yeah. why you needed the wonder sheets, wonder no more uh, because those, as we said, are proving uh, really, really popular as well. Perfect for your glitter, perfect for your foiling as well. Uh, just eight pounds thirty-nine for twenty of those. Twelve dollars thirty-nine uh, is the deal on that one. Um, I do have some tape. I mean, literally, like I was never, ever gone. Um, so you've got your wonder tape here as well. So if you want to go for the tape version, uh, that is available for you. Uh, two rolls, uh, 24 mil, uh, those uh, £3.99 or 5 Made of exactly the same yeah. material as the wonder sheets. No different. Uh, again, those proving very, very popular. Uh, lots of to come. So uh, let me just confirm. Coming back in an hour's time, just over an hour's time, we'll be here once again. So it'll be me and Corinne with the first hour of launch party where we'll be looking at things like the Say It With Flowers craft kit. We've also got the Say It With Style collection. We've got those templates, of course, for you uh, as well. Uh, the gorgeous Natural Beauty stamps, which we launched on Sunday. Uh, so many more. Yeah, that craft kit, box number 
number 48. Say it with flowers. We've got the say it with style. Oh, it's all coming up. That'll be between six and seven, one and two Eastern. Then from two, seven, uh, Gordon will be here for his final hour with us uh, with more goodies. Uh, that's seven till eight or two till three Eastern. And then, no, yes, yes. And then eight till nine, uh, which will be three till four Eastern. Uh, Corinne will be back for the final hour of launch party. But tip from the top make sure you get your baskets checked out on these items because low stock and things are already selling and also whilst you're on the website check out the memorial day sale that ends today or well, midnight tonight wherever you are that will finish uh, we have got up to 75 percent off selected items um, so deals you do not want to miss out on um, and then after that is finished Tomorrow, 1st of June, we kickstart our five-day uh, Jubilee celebration where, well, there's going to be some amazing, amazing um, deals for you. We've got uh, three for twos. I'll tell you a bit more. We've got three for twos. Uh, we've got double points coming your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm letting it all out of the bag now. We've, ah, oh, yeah. We've also got free. We've also got free gifts for you as well when you shop with us, um, and loads of exclusives. You might want to tune in for tomorrow, and you might also want to join the club as well because if you join the club as a new member, uh, you'll get a five pound, five dollar, five euro uh, credit into your account as well. And it's going to be great tomorrow as well because uh, not only is it little old me, I mean, it's not, it's not too bad when I'm on, is it? Uh, you've also got uh, the amazing Debbie McGiggles is going to be back with us as well. That is Debbie of the Fisher variety. So can you imagine kicking off your Jubilee celebrations and kicking off your June with me and Debbie? It'll be amazing. Uh, we've got a wake-up call and a masterclass tomorrow. Gordon, thank you so much. Welcome. You'll be back with us in two hours' time. Yep, I am. Yep. Excellent news. Um, we look forward to that. Get your baskets checked out. I will see you in an hour with Corinne for launch party. Until then, bye for now.